Uh, I want to talk about it already. You know what your girlfriend, your ex girlfriend, told me on the train the other day, Eddie? Uh, I was talking was on about the train. Well, it couldn't have been couldn't have been too uh, enlightening. Well, Clay and I were on the train with Vanessa, and we were talking about how I wanted to quit soda and quit sugar, but mo- mo- more like soda, right? I was talking about me oh, quitting soda, God, right? This. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to quit soda, blah, blah, blah. She goes, oh, my God, I have the perfect thing for you. It's the perfect substitute. This is what I did when I wanted to quit soda. You squeeze Genius. some lemon in some water. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> and you drink that. I said, that is literally like not even true at all. Like That is... That is unbelievably false that that is an equivalent to soda. Like that, you cannot be mm-hmm. further from a substitute <laughs> if you try. Like, you cannot be further from a substitute to soda. Oh my God. Squeeze she some lemon into some water. So, like, if you're trying to get on heroin, just <laughs> eat a salad. Don't worry about Suboxone. Just eat a little salad. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's pretty, drink a little coffee if you want to get off the heroin. I, love you know? her. I was like, that. <laughs> well, it's not gonna help at all. Like, there's no bubbles. There's no like, there's uh, no rush of sugar at all. Like, it's yeah, right, literally, there's nothing equivalent at all. I just wanted Texas so badly right now. I'm like, really, lemon in the water? Yeah, it was bad, man. It was it was really bad. I was. Oh lord. I, I was stunned. Oh lord, I have to. I have to. That's I that's let crazy. Me let me see. Maybe she'll not even the that. packages or get a juicer. Maybe nothing. She'll, maybe she'll nothing other than that. Maybe she'll answer me. Let me call her. Let me see if she's around. Because this is unbelievable. This is how she quit soda. She's a she's a strong woman if that's the case. <laughs> that's how. The, hey, she was she she was strong enough to dump Eddie ass. So after four years, though, <laughs> she took she did better with the soda. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna answer. She'll probably answer like later on in the later on in the recording. She'll call you back in the middle of recording. She'll be like, "Yeah, then we'll we we'll, won't even be talking about that." Even I gotta fuck one. with her on that one. Oh my god, that's great! Shout out to Vanessa, man. Shout out to Vanessa, and let me tell you, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Whoa, Eddie's spinning around. What are you doing? What are you? What are you, what doing? Are you a what? villain in a movie, dude? Yeah, he's a villain. The dude spun around. Do the villain thing. I didn't know you was. We was ramping up. We're we're ramping. Up. We're on the show already, dude. But what are we're we on. We didn't even start. We're on right now. This is it. This is the show. Let's see that shirt. Look at that shirt. EJ just got a brand new shirt in the mail from Justin. Shout out to Big Proji. Shout out to Justin out to because he got EJ an amazing shirt. And if you can't oh, see God. what it says, it says "Go get hit by a bus, bitch." Which you know is Eddie's infamous line that he told to Vanessa as he was walking down the hallway in high school when she told him that she wanted her boyfriend to go study, which is, you know, obviously everybody wants their their partner to be smarter. Everybody wants their boyfriend and girl. I hate the word partner. Everybody wants their boyfriend and girlfriend to be smarter, you know? Says and, the one says the one that lost to me in the in the quiz show. Right, yeah, she should have been in the library, huh? I should have to the toilet. She should have been dusting I, off I the books. <laughs> She didn't spend enough time in the library. Yeah, so you it was a surprise shirt. How did you feel when you unwrapped that package? I, was, I didn't know. I, again, I thought it was like a gritty shirt, like a gritty knows best. Like I thought everybody was getting one. I'm like, I, he, he told me to pick my favorite color. I was like, well, I'll pick not black because everybody else is going to get black. Correcto. And then I found out like a day before I got here that, uh, no, you're just getting a shirt. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. A very special shirt. I want that shirt now. Uh, oh yeah, I already texted Justin. I'm getting one of those shirts too. I need a shirt. I'll I'm pretty sure right that I now, said like... on the show that that's what I that I wanted that on a shirt, and, he, and instead of giving it to me, he gives it to Eddie. <laughs> I was like, uh, dude, wasn't I the one that said I want? I'm pretty sure I said that because I'm like, I want that on a shirt. That's well, so sick. It's too bad, you know. You know, and you the picked gold, the perfect color. The I don't want another decision. color. I don't think we should offer another color. That is the best color. The red the is the perfect. Red. It, it it looks like a Make America Great Again shirt, as Clay <laughs> pointed out earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it totally looks like that. Listen, I want to start selling Gritty Nose Best shirts. I want to start selling the one that has Justin as Mother Teresa on it. And now mm-hmm. I think we should add that one to the lineup. So this is going to push me more. We're going to have a small catalog soon. Let we got to do, right do the best equi- um, quotes of Gritty Nose Best. That's right. Oh, we have tons of yours. We can, oh, we no. can, we oh, can make God, a fucking no. trench coat with yours. No. If, it's quotes, if it's quotes, then you're going to have more t-shirts. Forget about anybody. it. No. <laughs> I don't want that. Forget it. 
Forget it. And there's got to be a little crow, you know, on the side. No. Oh, okay. Okay, that part is It's all, it's all going to be in a, like a thought bubble. Of course it's going to be. The crow Listen, thought bubble. My idea was that we should start selling shirts and we'll just put them out for like a month to see what people think about them. And then we'll, just, you know, we'll shut it down after a month, see, you know, see what happens, see how many orders we get. So maybe... You know, in a couple months, you know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll have two shirts available. We'll have Go Get Hit by a Bus Bitch. And I really want that shirt of uh, Justin as Mother Teresa. So Justin just gave us a new design. Everybody seems like they're uh, excited about this shirt. This is a be- it's a beautiful yeah, I would, gift. I would, I, would, I would get that Justin shirt. You, oh, you get, oh, you get the Justin shirt? What about the yeah. the one that Eddie got right now? Would you acquire this You're not shirt? a fan of the Go Get Hit by a Bus? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's, such, it's such a savage yeah. line. <laughs> It's such an amazing line. Um, it, it was the I, I don't go a day without thinking about that. I don't go a day without thinking about that. And it's the perfect comeback for anything. If somebody says something super smart, if Neil deGrasse Tyson were to say something ex- extremely smart to you and try to play you, you know, intellectually, just say, you know what? Go get hit by a bus, bitch. And that's it. And now that's- uh, a mug got mailed to my house today. Is that oh, uh, that's a green nose hit by a bus mug? That, nah, that's nah, a regular nah, nah. green mug. That's a that's a regular green nose best mug. And we should probably start selling those too. Honestly, right? We should probably start oh, selling. Oh, green nose by a bus. got one too. Let's go. That's right. We all pretty much everybody in the crew got mugs. Thanks to Justin. It was a beautiful gift. Thank you, bro. He makes shit happen that's behind right. the scenes. He does. He Justin really does. Is the merch He's a fucking star. Guy. He's pulling all the love, strings. All love, bro. He's getting shit done. Shout out to Justin, man. He's the freaking best. So you never know. We might have the green nose best shop open for a month and you know we'll tell you all about it when it goes down everybody wants some merch it's finally hopefully gonna have because we've been asked about merch for a long time people have been asking us you know and now we're worldwide i don't know if we'll be able to do worldwide shipping though well hopefully we can i gotta talk to the merch guy i gotta talk to justin about that because you know we gotta have our people in france and china hawaii africa we, we we're all over the place yeah you know? it seems like the states will be covered That's we fine. need everybody in every country like outside the states to, figure <laughs> to out. have a go get hit by a bus bitch t-shirt we need that everybody needs number that. one i was really thinking about this because i've seen a lot of videos of like people like trying to go on the walmart or something and like they get stopped because like their shirt that says something crazy like what, fuck you or something. They get they get kicked out of Walmart for that. So like I'm like I'm waiting. You're know, like the next time I go, like like I go with oh, Cheryl, yeah. I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna see if they let me in or not. Did Cheryl see the shirt? Did they even tell somebody not to wear a shirt? No, like they, literally, they literally told this guy like you gotta turn your shirt inside out if you want to come in here. Ooh, I used to walk around with my fuck off shirt all the time. My ICP shirt had Shaggy on the front holding his dick, fl- flipping it, flipping off the, uh, flipping everybody off, and on the back it say fuck off. I never got in trouble for that. I, I literally had a shirt with a middle finger. You so, pointed up. So cool, man. So edgy. <laughs> like, I, I never got stopped. So that's crazy. <laughs> so cool. I guess, well, I wasn't really a Walmart shopper at the time. I wasn't really. Uh, now, if I wear that shirt, maybe I'll get kicked out. I didn't, I didn't know Walmart's cracking down. Really? I mean, Walmart, they're locking all this shit behind gates. And shit. Well, that's because people stealing. They about, to take <laughs> that, they about to take away that self-checkout. You know, I don't blame them for that. Yeah, you know, wait for that to happen. He self-checkout. Well, I mean, you don't need to. You don't need to do it, though. You don't need to go there. I'm, I'm not saying you I can't don't. wait for it to happen. I understand the logic behind taking You know it what? It's good. It'll bring more jobs back. That's right. That's right. Make America great again. Less right? elderly people standing in fucking one spot. Well, they still have the they still have the uh, the lines open. You can still it's still an option to get. Man, to I've been to one where they fucking just closed it. Now they bringing they bringing all that shit back. They bringing all that back. Maybe we should have a pride design too for next year. We should have a pride design. Should, what are we gonna do? I thought are you we were gonna, gonna get Justice your pride. Don't you gonna get pride booty shorts? You were telling us that like two shows ago. Who said they were gonna you? get pride booty shorts? You I, said you I had booty pride shorts. shorts, and they're not pride though. We have booty shorts for what? what I do. Jasmine for? picked out these shorts. That's she like both Jasmine picked out these shorts <laughs> in, in Florida. That was mass one. Never wore them. So she could walk. Oh, she, you never. She can't see you. Your your legs in there. She she didn't see. You didn't show off the, the legs. I showed it off when I put it on for those. What Wait, five minutes? I thought you loved your body. Why don't you walk around? I though? did, but yeah, I don't I want. I, I don't want that tight ass. You're so body I don't positive. Like I don't want to walk around with tight ass shorts. You don't want that thing showing. I don't really like shorts to be honest with front. you. From 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 what I understand, you didn't want to you know you didn't want to come on the show until you found the shirt. I mean, I thought you was the body. I didn't say I didn't want to come on the show well, until I found a shirt. shirt. What, what is this extra like dialogue? Why don't you just come on shirtless? You love your body. So <laughs> I said much. I'm going. <laughs> hey, I need to find a shirt. Yeah, why? Yeah, you, you why you didn't just show up? I don't think the audience just wants me to chilling out with my shirt open and just just who said that? Who cares? Just like hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Like, what's up? You want to see my six packs? No. 
We need we need a little, you know, need something to look at. Need a little eye no, candy on the nah. show. Today. Hey, hey, yo. Oh, it's, some, it's, 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 it's Pride Month. I don't want to be your it's eye candy. Pride month. It's Pride Month. Listen, the women, the women need something, something to look at. Nah, this is Pride Month. This is this is for the guys. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll get, a, we'll, we'll, we'll get a design. Those 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 type of dudes like six packs too. Come on. Oh goodness. Unless they nah. like bears. Unless they like like a bear nah. guy, like a fat. I'm not. I'm not the twink they, guy. I'm not the twink they want. You're not a twink. <laughs> you're not a you're not a young I'm not, twink. I'm not a twink. Listen. <laughs> Since it's Pride Month, we have another Pride story piggybacking off of the first one that we had, the, the first Pride story that we said. And then we have to talk about the Pope again because we talked about the Pope and how he dropped an F bomb, you know, <laughs> calling, you know, calling gay guys the F bomb in, in Italian. He said it right. And it translated to the F bomb for a gay guy. Well, okay. it looks like. He did it again. He just blurted it out. He was like, "Listen, the church is full of f bombs. It's getting it's getting <laughs> wild in here. F bombs are all over the place." Mommy, listen. As I said before, he's an 87 year old Italian man. What do you expect getting a guy like that in a room with his buddies? You know what I mean? He's, a couple f bombs are gonna fly. You know, racial <laughs> slurs are gonna fly. It doesn't mean he hates him. It just it's part of the vernacular, you know. You get a couple of times. Hey, there's a bunch of walking down the street. You know, this guy over here. He's, you know, he's a, he's a, you know, what, you know, the, you know, words are gonna fly. You know what I mean? And you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Guy's 87. Yeah, I was about to think, say he's old school, bro. If he's 80, he's old school, bro. That's right. I think this. He this didn't just, grow up with all this in- inclusiveness. Right. I like. My, I think. I think what he said was like, listen, you can let gay guys in the church. But do not have. They cannot be like a part of the church. Like there's too they many. Cannot F- work there. There's too many. <laughs> F- you cannot be a bishop. You can basically. He doesn't want you in a. Po- they don't want. He don't want people in a power authority. Basically, right. 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 But okay. but he did like do some stuff for the LGBT community. I think he like acknowledged that gay guys should be married. Like he did a couple. So I mean, listen, the guy's an ally. He's not a complete hater. He's he's an ally. So he drops a couple f bombs. You know, the guy drops a couple racial slurs. I mean, he's of a different cut. He's of a different cloth. It comes I mean, with the territory, you know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. I mean, his religion and his faith is saying no gays and powers and stuff like that. He's technically following his own his his Yeah, what are we trying rules? to cancel the Pope? Like nah, you can't be I, the Pope, I, I I'm not canceling. I think it's I'm fine. not. I'm not. <laughs> no, listen, the Let Pope, the Pope say, Yeah, like this is fine. Yeah, I'm fine no, with listen, it. Let him cook. Let him I'm, cook. Bro. I've always let been fascinated cook. at the Pope's job. Like I've always been like, what what would it be like to be the Pope for one day? You could just drive around in that big bubble, people crying and fainting and you just you just touch people and they lose their fucking minds. The only thing I didn't want when he started washing people's feet, I was like, I'm not about that. I'm not a foot guy. I'm not me, that. like that's what Jesus did, you know. I'm this not was... washing feet, bro. You know what I'm uh, saying? He was did you see the president met the Pope the other day? No, did he? Which one? Our president? Oh. Yeah. Did he oh. know who the Pope was, or did he think it was like? Some, <laughs> yeah, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty it was weird. Like he like leaned down. Like the Pope was like sitting down. He like leaned down. And it looks like he's about to like hug him, and he, and they like touch like they, they look like they kind of like touch faces like. <laughs> so many molested a kiss. I was trying to kiss the Pope. The dude? Let me yeah, see, see if I can, you can find it. Let me see. My man said, it. "Hey, I know you Italians like to greet each other this way." Yeah, he was trying to give <laughs> him a kiss. And then the Pope said, "Yo, I ain't down with that shit right now. I ain't, I ain't down with that. I ain't down with that F shit." The Pope, the Pope looked even older and and you know, frailer than he than he was. What is gay old well, I think sex Biden got. I think the like. Pope got like ten years on Biden, though. I think Biden's seventy something, right? Seventy six. Pope Biden's like, 80. like almost eighty. I don't know. So when two gay old men rub against each other, do they just start fires? Why would they? Because they're so ashy. <laughs> Leathery. That I don't saying? know. This is this is the image you're you're referring to. Let's get this on a shirt. Let's get this on a shirt, but we'll replace it with <laughs> Justin and Mo. That'll be oh, our pride. That'll be our pride. I love that. That'll be our pride image. We'll have Justin. Hey, and let's, let's do that. That's me and you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be great, dude. Matter of fact, we can get me and Roddy too. I didn't probably thought that was like his grandpa or something like that. He was like, I don't know who the fucking. He didn't know who that was. He knows the Pope. I like. I always wonder like how you even became the Pope. Like it's such just like. I think, uh, I think they choose you. 
Yeah, it, it's I like think, a yeah, very, I think you had to get like voted in or some shit. Well, That's yeah, I just wondered how you rose to the ranks of the Pope. I guess it's like a presidential thing. You have to be in the church. You have to be making moves, making maneuvers, yeah. by, you, politicking. You know, that's so pastor. He needs to work, ascend the ranks. Oh, he would never be allowed pope. to be a pope because he works with a bunch of gays. That's right. He works with a bunch of gay guys. He, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Wait, I thought I was going to say the other word. I don't know what you were going to say, but I didn't expect it. To, I don't know, bro. I didn't expect. They, they'll, they'll frown upon you think they'll frown upon pastor's cohorts yeah he's gay and trans whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up with him? <laughs> well i heard that they'll never be an american pope because why we're we're too uh too crazy yeah they don't they don't like uh, we're too liberal over over here well i guess it wasn't one of the popes from south america though um probably like, wasn't one I'm spanish sure. one of them was spanish right yeah so i think the current pope for people when are we gonna get our first trans pope? That's not happening. So it says technically <laughs> any Roman Catholic male can be elected pope, but since nine, uh, 1379, every pope has been selected from the College of uh, Cardinal. Yeah, Cardinal. Yeah, they sit in that the, room and they have the smoke. Damn, they have the damn, smoke. Yeah, go they got the smoke set. And I used to, I remember that was like one of the things I like to watch as, as a kid on TV is when they picked the Pope. I remember seeing it like, I think twice. And they just, everybody, the cameras just point at this like castle, this big room. And then everybody's, mm-hmm. everybody's just waiting at the chimney. And if the smoke is like red, that means like, oh, chill out. We, we still thinking about it. And if the smoke is blue, it means we found a Pope. And then he walks out and everybody's on his dick. I mean, basically you, I mean, everybody's just on your dick for the rest of your life after you're the Pope. You just chill mm-hmm. out. You know, you just, you just, they just, you know, they just shuffle you around you know, people just people admire you everywhere. It's it's a nice it's a nice couple of years it's left. It's a nice gig. Like. It's not a bad gig, you know. You kind of like uh what, like a know, mall. What, 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 uh, what, what, what are they pulling? What kind of what kind of figures are they pulling? I don't know. Look, to, somebody looked at him. Somebody look up what the uh, what the, just, what the just, Pope makes. I was how wondering much, how much does he get any money? Like what's, okay. I was gonna ask that, that too. How much he walks around it? in like golden robes, bro. He has like the wealth of the Catholic Church. Yeah, but he can't go sell. But I mean, like, what what is the exact? What is he like? What is, what is he like? That's, the, that's the thing about the church is that the church has lots of money, but it's in like artifacts and gold yeah, and like all got all that Vatican. Yeah, stuff. but I don't think. The but I wonder what's the paycheck? What's what's like on paper? What's like on paper is he making? I'm sure he's you know getting stuff from the back end. You know, so you know, no, the pope. So the pope does not get paid. However, he yeah. is in charge of the Vatican um, okay. budget. So also oh, he has. He just so throws, he's in charge of the Vatican budget, but he doesn't get paid he, a salary. He don't get paid, so, but he's so, in charge so of the budget. So what you're saying is that he can he can allocate some money to yeah, the yeah. You know, we're, we're gonna throw yes. some money over to the to the to St. Jude's about yes. 140 grand. You know, <laughs> couple couple dollars to the puppy shelter, so the you know the puppies don't get killed at the puppy. We'll, you know, we'll save the puppies over here for another 50 grand. I think the Pope is doing. Just fine. I think. But, don't, doing but doesn't the Pope <laughs> usually some of them like write books and have like you know? Oh, you think? Oh, you think get... he's like an influencer like that? Like he's getting well, brand deals I, I, well, and they shit. They are the like, OG influencers. If the you think Pope about makes thirty two thousand dollars a year off what really? salary? That's, okay. I think there's some. I don't know. I'm like it reading doesn't... some some net worth article and it says that he does have a salary of thirty two hundred dollars, but like I don't think he collects. Like he never receives money from the church. I've always been a fan of the Pope, uh, especially this one, because he was just like the guy just does what he wants. He just likes he just, Instagram. He speaks his mind. He likes um, video, like pictures of women's asses on Instagram, and it's like you know that's he's, really funny. He's showing he's a, he's a real guy. He's not hiding who he is. Listen, huh. he do, he doesn't he doesn't mind the gays. He doesn't mind any minorities. But you know he drops a couple he drops a couple he's choice. Like- Choice he's work. like the Trump. He's like the Trump of popes, you know. He just does what he wants. The guy does what he wants, you know. I'm surprised he didn't, you know, shove Biden. A like, yo, back up, bro. Don't be, don't be, don't yeah, be don't all up on me, bro. Like I told you, I don't like don't those fucking, apps. Don't be church. fucking. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, like I do that, see dude. another thing that does say yes to it. I don't know why they have so many no's if they're gonna have one yes. But. Right, right. Listen, everybody loves ice cream here, right? Everybody's a fan mm-hmm. of ice cream. Sure, of course. course. Clay, oh, yeah. Clay yeah, what yeah. is your favorite topping? What is my favorite topping? Of ice cream. You you recently had the Minions oh, ice worms. cream. Gummy worms. I was about to say, or gummy bears. Nah, nah no, they're right. No, 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 Mine's no, is no, rainbow no, sprinkles no. or gummy it's bears out, or anything bro. gummy. No, no, and rainbow sprinkles are good, but like if I'm really going all in, the gummy bears are the gummy worm. I should really just That's say gummy fact. bears. I don't like that texture mm-hmm. with the ice cream. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan. I like crunch. I like a it's crunchy really texture. I like... 
But well, you got the Minions ice cream the other day, right? That birthday cake. Yeah, what did that, that have on? Like good. cookie crumbles or some shit? I was about to say. Um, I think it was like birthday like cake. Mm. I don't know what it yeah, was. Some it was blue shit, and right? yellow. It sounds well, good listen, as fuck. I'm not going to lie to you. Listen, <laughs> when you there, there was a man in India, okay? He's getting his ice cream a regular day. He's getting the ice cream cone. He gets whatever little flavors, whatever little toppings. And my man bites into his ice cream, and he notices a little bit of a texture change. Okay? He notices a little texture change. Okay. And what he spits out of his mouth is a human finger. Okay? Nah, 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 nah. I think I say a roach or something. Nah, Nah, this is crazy. I mean, that's even worse. I'd rather, I'd probably rather rather a roach. I would rather the roach than the finger. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure, you know, that's that's common in countries of not, you know, they they just put, they put roaches on sticks everywhere else. That ain't gonna bother. That's probably, that's probably an actual topping. That's probably an actual topping. So my man bit into a finger and now they launched an investigation over this, how it happened. The ice cream company is shutting down that factory, the third party factory to figure out how this happened. I look mean, for the fucking guy without a finger. I was about yeah, to right? say, look for the one worker there that's missing a fucking finger, dog. You know, my bad, it was an accident, bro. My, that was, that was and, my fault. And if nobody's missing a finger, then, then somebody's killed really somebody. really suspicious. I mean, it's, like, very, for it's very common in factories, people losing a, a piece of their finger. This is not uncommon at all, right? No, no. It's not. Uh, we know somebody that lost, um, for, who we went to high school with that lost, lost a piece of his finger. Part of their finger. Lost a part yeah. of his finger. This is, this is nothing of... Uh, so I, I, I think with that being said... This should just be looked at as getting like a hair in your food. You know, when you go to a restaurant, are you gonna are you gonna flip out because you got a little hair? I mean, it just sometimes it's part of the game. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get a little hair in there. It's not when you're getting stuff from a factory and you're making millions of gallons of ice cream or jugs of ice cream, you might get a little get a little nub. Is it that big of a deal? And you know it's fresh because they froze it right after it got cut off. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, exactly. he could have probably still got it. At if anything you know that it was not tampered with and it was it was what is it called? Frozen fresh. Is that what they call it? Fresh. Yeah. fresh. It was frozen fresh. So I don't see they're gonna launch an investigation and everything. I mean, listen, if somebody finds an ear in their next cone, then I say launch an investigation. If somebody finds <laughs> like a you know, somebody finds a nose or a toe in your your ice cream cake, a nipple, something like that. Then yeah, you probably gotta launch an event. But this, this, this ain't buying a nipple serious. in anything is wow to me. This ain't nothing serious. I, I don't. I don't think they need to go go bad shit about this. We all watched a very interesting video. Okay, that yeah, I sent the to the that? group. This this video has been around for a while, but it made its way back into my algorithm the other day. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to play the video for everybody. So if you don't see it, we'll, we'll explain to you what it is after we're done. But, but here it is. It's time to stop body shaming other people. I was at Disneyland today. I wanted to have fun with my siblings. But our day was ruined by all the people that were making fun of the size of my body. And the worst part is that they teach their kids to do the same. They kept taking photos of me. They gave me bad looks all the time. Or just kept laughing at me. I know you may think that I am exaggerating. And that is my fault for being a big girl. But this is literally what God gave me. And I have to embrace every single part of me. Even if you have a condition or you look different, you shouldn't get bullied for the way you look. I would never talk negatively about someone else's appearance. Respect is key. This should be a safe place where everyone feels comfortable. And I wasn't doing anything, just existed. At the end of the day, I just wanted to have fun like everyone else. If you don't like something, stop hating and keep it for yourself. Everybody at Disneyland was looking at my gigantic ass. What a fucking banger of a video, bro. I mean, where do you even begin? If you didn't see it you can you you can imagine it from what she's saying but this is like a a spanish woman walking around disneyland looking like she's smuggling two of the mascots heads in the back (laughs) of her tights right now okay it looked like if like one of the animators drew like his dream woman and then like let her and like she came out of the drawing like in a real disney movie she just was like unleashed upon the park and she, she said, "This is what God gave me. Like, there's no, no way no, no, that no. that happened." She just said, happened. "She said I'm that a was natural." Woman. Hold on, let Clay she talk. She said, "I'm a bigger woman." Like, like she was fat. Like, bro, no. you like got the crazy hourglass figure. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, and, and to yeah. what Clay said, she said that this is what God gave me. Like, no, God may have given you like maybe the money to, or the surgeon's skills to do that. You did. God did not yeah, impart not that. Upon so that ass ain't real. I mean, no, no way. Did you think it was? No, I just wanted to know your opinion. She kind of looks like she was like fat, and then she got her fat sucked out, 
And then they like gave her like butt mm. surgery. You think they put all that fat in her ass? I was gonna say they put yeah. all the fat. I think they put her. I think ass. they put some of her fat, some of somebody else's fat. That wasn't just her fat. That was a couple people's fat up in there. She she got she borrowed some for that. There's a bunch of black kids dying from diabetes that got life foam put in her ass. And they t- they took that fat for that ass, bro. That was that is actually that may be like the biggest ass I've ever seen on. Bro, for on real, like you could fit your whole head in there, bro. I've seen that woman a few times. Um, you know, I've seen her porn once or twice. Not not on purpose. Oh, I've she's a no porno. Porn. Yeah, I've seen her point. It must have been like a pop up or something like that. I mean, I've never sat, you know, watched it myself. And it just came you sure? Up. Yeah. It, just, okay. just, it just came up. Yeah. I, I just, some, so let's just say somehow I ran into her one or two of her points. And leave the links down below. Nah, I can't. Yeah, I would yeah, never be. I would never yeah, be able to find that again. I, would, I don't even. I would never be able to find something like that again. I think Clay's looking for it right now because I see my man. Like, does, <laughs> does she have like that Randallin disease where your like ash just gets uncontrollably fat? No, Is I think she has a disease called body dysmorphia where she where she pictures like her body. And she wants her body. Yeah, I Mo, think she you, has the disease called you, plastic you ever, surgery. You ever, you ever saw Randolin? No. No. Look up Randolin. Is that where your oh, ass gets big? No. There, there was this, there was this influencer girl named was Randolin, and she had like a big, gigantic, crazy ass like that, and her ass like continued to get bigger and bigger, and it was like a condition where like her body was, her upper body was normal like that, and her lower half was like getting like fatter and fatter. I mean, Kim. We could we could say Kim Kardashian got that same disease, man. Who is that? No, she doesn't. Randolin, who isn't that? Isn't that pretty much what happened to Kim? But she just had money. Self <laughs> self induced Randolin disease. She's self induced. What is it called? Who is it? Randolin. 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 Who? Spell that. Randolin. Yeah. Well, while you're oh, looking for that, somebody somebody find her. But I mean, if there's a, if there's a convention for people with that disorder, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to see what's going on over there. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm Wait, where you want to be in a room full of women co- co- and guys complaining about how fat their asses are getting? Well, no, uh, not the guys. I'll, I'll be on the woman's. I won't be really congregating with God, with the guys. But yeah, I mean, yeah. That, it doesn't sound like a bad room to be in. I don't, I don't sound like a bad. A bad view. I mean, listen. Bro, she, you're sexualizing me. I don't want to be sexualized. Bro, really saying that they were bullying her and people were staring and taking pictures on like. She, what do you think? What she also was there with the camera because she knows she looks like a freak. She was there because she knows people are gonna look at her. She knows people are gonna are gonna gawk at her. Well, I mean, you this know is what, not Clay, news. That's a, that's a, that's that's another thing. Is people are also looking at you because someone's record walking behind you recording you. Like, well, that's not that's not big of a deal in Disney anymore. anymore. <laughs> that's probably like every day in Disney now. Everybody's recording themselves or being recorded in Disney, you know. But now when when she walks by, like you know, you you're wondering why the sun why you don't see the sun anymore, and then you look <laughs> and you have like this gigantic ass in front of you. You know what I mean? But so, here's I don't know how if I'm pronouncing this word correctly, but it's l- lipidum lidema. I don't know anything about lipidema. That. That's oh, what the disease is called. Uh, makes yeah. you makes you look like you're uh you've been eating too much when in fact your fat cells are retaining fluids and uh growing. Well, anybody um, with lipidema, hit up hit us up on the show. We'd love to interview you. We'd love to yeah, hear apparently Grady really wants to interview. <laughs> I would love to hear your story, but only the ones with the ass. Only the ones with if any of the potty body girls, I don't care about that. We're very interested in that one. But well, this is the real question: Who would engage in intercourse with a woman? Would you guys? Are you guys into that or what? I would. Yeah. You do it for sure. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, Hands everybody, down everybody would. <laughs> what did you I'm think we were going to say? No? Just, well, listen. You got guys like Justin <laughs> where he'd say. It's too much ass for me. But Justin is so the size of ass. her ass cheeks if you took them off her body. In there, though, like. I thought maybe one of y'all would be like, nah, it's too much. Hell no. What's what wrong we, with you? What are we? At words? Know, Justin, Justin <laughs> wouldn't. Happy pride. Justin wouldn't do it. I know Justin wouldn't do that before. He's EJ, there the was size a, of her ankles. There was a wild situation that happened in your neck of the woods not too long ago. I'm going to play a news clip about it right now. A situation at a Myrtle Beach restaurant after a customer allegedly attacked an employee. A police report says officers went to the Waffle House on Frontage Road June 2nd after it says an angry customer had pulled out a knife and punched a server in the head after the server confronted them about drinking alcohol. Right now, police have not released any names in the incident. I told you, man, that 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 Waffle House was like the octagon. Hold on. I would not want so, to be there later. So tonight. was that was that the one that we went to though? Well, yeah. I know there's like two of them there, so I don't know if it's the one that we went to, but you know, it's in Myrtle Beach. I heard, I heard that it was. At, well, where where were you four days ago? Because I heard where the was? description was of a uh, skinny black male who was upset about no chicken and waffles. Really, 
That's what uh, I heard. Definitely <laughs> wasn't me. Um, this wasn't this Negro. Maybe he <laughs> heard one of our episodes was like, yo, nah, nigga, y'all should have chicken and waffles and went out there to confront them. Yo, bro, I didn't swing at anybody. You shouldn't be swinging at anybody. You almost swung at us that day. <laughs> I did almost swing at yeah. I didn't have a knife, luckily, so I couldn't stab you. <laughs> yeah, the, the article I read about it said there was blood everywhere because the guy like went back and he he pulled the knife on the lady, but was punching her, which is a good. It's dumb because I mean you have a knife in here, but it's good because that he didn't, didn't end up stabbing far. her. Yeah, he was pulled out the knife to then punch her, and then somebody tried to break it up, so they then got sliced, and there was just blood all over the waffles. I mean, listen, just sounds Less like an, sounds like another day to me. I'd have been sitting there eating my waffle like. I was about to say, where, where was that when we all went? Dinner and a show. It was about to happen. I'm surprised Mo didn't murder her right there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, or, or the other way around. I was sure nah, she wasn't gonna that, win. Nah, that girl looked like she was. She had it. She had it up to there with you, bro. She was ready. She wasn't gonna win the she fight though. Been able to take you. If I wanted to murder her, she it's over. Been, she might have been able to take you. Nah, she couldn't. No one could take me. Stop it. You don't think she would have hit, hit you with with something uh, with you behind the from behind? The hitting me doesn't glass. make me. That just only makes me angrier. Oh, you're one you of those. That. You're one of those. You don't want when I oh, fight. Yeah. I see red. I don't know. I like pain. You don't guys? like pain. You don't like like when you get in a situation like when you in a fight. Somebody hits you. It just excites you more. And it becomes more fun. Now you that know you're retarded. To no, nobody's like that. Oh. No. Okay. Nobody this angry. man's afraid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. You sound like those guys who go. Well, you don't want to fight me when I because when I see red, I black <laughs> out. I get. No, that, I, don't, no, I can't no, control the, my anger. <laughs> I like being. Hit I just in the enjoy head. the what aspect you, of fighting you when Hulk? you fight and you get hit. I like you being hit in the head. You like getting CTE? <laughs> oh no, no, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> that. Damn, don't you need a lot of a lot of head trauma for that? So to me, this just sounds like the Pope thing. Like the uh, like the thumb in the ice cream cone, just just another just another day. I don't think anything any you know ain't nothing nothing needs to be bad. No bad eye needs to be batted. Well, I mean it's not everything that not, that doesn't happen every day, but it's yeah, that, that's not, not every day. But fight to the Waffle House, you know that that's definitely that's normal. every day. That's definitely normal. And the guy showed waffle some self control. He pulled the knife and he said, "You know what? I'm not going to take it that far. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that far." Speaking <laughs> of taking I mean, things fair, far, though, to be fair, like at that point. I, I think the lady didn't want to fight anymore once she saw the knife. So at that point, she he's just beating on her. He's beating that ass. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. You know what I mean? He's not that's a fight good point. The knife's out. So now he's just wailing on her for free with right. the knife. Yeah, out. yeah, because she's looking at but the knife like, I'm not going to fight back and get stabbed. She, yeah. wasn't, she wasn't like Mo where she enjoyed the pain. She couldn't She couldn't fight back. Yeah, she, no, she, I mean, she wasn't having a good time like Mo would. No. Mo would, Mo no, would have enjoyed like getting would. assaulted like that. <laughs> Yeah, so you like when oh, she, does Jay beat you in the bedroom? Does she put like you know what? Maybe you? I need to get her to start beating me. Oh in the bedroom. my god, are you are yeah, you one of those guys where you're like, yeah, step on me, kick me? Maybe I need to get into balls. BDSM. Kick me in the ball. Maybe I need to step. Well, I know, I know, you've done it the hole. other way around. You like smack people, the other way around. throwing yeah. people out the window. But I've never gotten beaten. Well, maybe you got to try. I mean, you like it so much in in fights. Yeah, I never met the I never met the right woman that can handle, like, can do it. Oh, oh, like strong enough. It's not in there. Like, you gotta like. That's there's a certain type of woman that that doesn't. Don't let don't let Jay hear that. That woman. Now she knows that. You need a woman. She 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 ain't built like that. Wow. Mm. She ain't built like that. Let's get you one. Would would Jay be? Would she mind? Ask her. Ask her for her permission. Well, you gotta ask her. It's not me. It's not my relationship. You gotta ask her. No, no, ask her. See what she says. Why don't ask you get like, permission? Why don't we get Say, like yeah, a... we want to find one for Mo. Could, do we have permission? Why, get her permission. Why don't we I can't get you like a decide. dominatrix to beat your ass? A do- dominatrix? How bad is she? She, she got to be Spanish. You can get Miss J to beat you up. You know what? That's, that'll be Ms. fine. Yeah, let's get let's Ms. Go, J to let's go to Miss J's house. Let's go, let's go to Miss J's house and have her you know smack you around. You're right. I think she has the handcuffs, the rope, and everything. You're right. Maybe she could tie me up in the backyard. I'm gonna, Near I'm a tree. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask her. She'll what is this? You. What is this, Roots, bro? You wanna get, <laughs> you wanna get drunk up on a tree? It's getting a little crazy. <laughs> You're the only one that got that fast. <laughs> getting a little wild. Listen, speaking of getting <laughs> crazy and getting wild, Crow and I were talking about this woman who went viral online because she's a white woman who gained a lot of fame in a very short amount of time because she dropped the N bomb. 
Crow, why don't you explain what what this is and what you know what, what you uh, thought? She, about pulled, this. she pulled up. She pulled up Paula the Dean. Oh this no, this woman. Is, what's her name? I don't even remember the bitch name. I don't know. She's Something. a she's a trad wife who's uh -oh. famous on TikTok and other social medias, and she's known for being at home, making home products, and being a housewife. Um, she says she's traditional. She says she encouraged women and marriages to be this way and go back to the traditional way where women stay at home and take care of the family and everything else like that. But as we found out last week is that that was a bunch of bullshit. One, she actually had employment. She was working for a company. Um, I believe it was like some housing company or something with not, no, actually it was something with people with disabilities, actually like with autism and shit. So she was doing marketing for that company. Um, she basically said the N word online and, and apparently all my black people, they just want to entertain it and um, help her get even more famous like retard. So she basically, what she said, she said, uh, all my friends are married to a bunch of broke ass N bombs. Yes. And then when they, when she was pressed about it, she was like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Like, this is what I, this is how I talk. Like, fuck you. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> and then she was like, yeah, all black dudes are gay. Like, well, she said all black dudes. She's like, oh black dudes are, <laughs> she was like, black dudes are mad yeah. gay. That's crazy. Uh, she's doubling oh, is this down. True? Can you confirm? I, I can only confirm that there's a there's gay people but if in you the could world. Say, and I don't if you know could if say, all black people are. if you could not all black, but if you could say <laughs> which race has the gay the gayest amount of, like more gay people, the most gay people. If I can say Yeah, which one? I, I would think. honestly I would think it's I think it's evenly out between white and black. No, no, no. No, no, no. I really no. do think that. Don't give us a PC answer. You know I, who is it? You've been you've been on uh Fat I would Life. say from from you know. my knowledge, I've met more white men who are gay. Okay, there you go. Gay. Now we're getting now we're getting a straight answer. You think that white you think that white guys openly. are gay? Yes. Openly gay. More white men. Okay. What about down low? You've seen a lot of down it low. It would be black. it would be all minorities. <laughs> All minorities. It's all every every one of us. All a bunch of DLs. Bunch of deals. Though. I think <laughs> only people that can afford to be openly anything are white folk. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come can, on, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. We can take that, the that, that, bullets. That true. We can take the bullets. Bro, first of all, first of all, it don't cost any money to be gay. I mean, anybody it can doesn't. Be it cost, it, it doesn't, doesn't cost any money, but it costs your uh, your reputation. It your reputation, your community, your family, your no, everything. Listen, most listen, most colored people don't want to want parts of that. Listen, white people get shit on all the time, bro. Their reputation's already yeah, shot. Yeah, not white. I mean, only people that's getting shot on right now are straight white men, and no one really cares about y'all yeah, anyway. Y'all yeah, had like I know, centuries I know. of. We had our time in the sun, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a. It's yeah, funny you no say that attention. because there was a New York veteran. I think he was like a firefighter and a couple other things for the for the city, and he recently died. And in his final words, I guess he wrote something before he died. He left something like, after his after his death, and he was like, "Yo, like I've been gay my whole life. Like Damn. I've had a boyfriend the whole time. I just didn't Damn. want to say it. He was a I don't white like guy. that for him. Yeah, he, well, no, he said he had a boyfriend though, so it's not like he missed out on the on the uh, pleasure, the experience of, of life, of happiness. Yeah, he didn't miss out on sucking and you know, all He didn't miss out. On, I don't know what he was doing, but you know, I don't know if he was a top or a bottom, but he didn't miss out on anything. Like he was just on the DL, so he he still yeah. had a man the whole time. So oh, yeah. he was a white guy. I don't want people to be in that situation, though. So now this girl has a whole career. She's been on. Uh, I know she's been on one podcast for sure. I think she has a couple Who more. Who is lined this person, up. though? I, she's. I mean, I can find her name so everybody can look her up. We can make her even more. Are you saying? Her. Are you saying that? I don't even feel like. I don't even want to know her name. Are you saying if I drop the N word right now, I could get on other shows? You drop I mean, the N word all the time. Do you want to be a politician? Because this is about? one of the things. This girl wants to be a. This woman wants to be a, a politician. She wants. The popularity she wants to get into politics so it's it's a political move hey, uh, we, it's it's typical politician behavior yeah. outraged other side you've dropped the n-word enough Eddie. if it would it would have happened already yeah. you've said it enough oh, we man, make a it would have been yeah you're, it's too late for you we could we, we could make a compilation of you already by now yeah, you know? seriously. it, it would you would have you would have popped off by now you What's said the n-word so like? much you started having you started spelling out color in your skin that's you saying it, it boosted his melanin? It did his, say his melanin, yeah. Uh, and and really, you know, you're not an I attractive am a little, I'm woman. A <laughs> and you're not an attractive woman. That's what really what really set this over the edge that she's a woman. So everybody's like, you know, oh my gosh, she's so hot. She's so trad. 
She's so fucking edgy, dude. You know, like that. My my problem is I don't understand how her traditional life had anything to do with other cultures because to be honest, as a black person, most of us black people are mostly traditional. A lot of black women would want her traditional lifestyle. A lot of black men would want to give that traditional lifestyle. So it's it's not a black it's her making a black thing is not even necessary. That's the worst part about this whole situation. Majority of us agree with her lifestyle. Like I like her lifestyle. I was a fan of her content. I like like the person. You were a fan of her Until content she, before this. Yeah, I I like the content. You knew her I before like, this. I yeah, I've watched her stuff before. I had uh, to unsubscribe to her shit. You also, I didn't know you knew of this woman before. This. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Wow. Her name is Lily something. I don't know. You gotta look at Lily. It's it just says Lily on Twitter. Oh yeah, here she is. She's on some other show. She she's making the rounds. People are uh, propping her up. Everybody's everybody's in love. Everybody's in love with Lily right now. Is there, is there a reason? Like, is it just because she said the N word? Like, I don't well, really. Well, then get she it. says gay. She says the F bomb. She just starts attacking people in your well, There's plenty you know. of people that talk like that. They, they don't make it big. Yeah, Lily. yeah, but she had a following already. She had somewhat uh, of a following, which I never. I guess Mo Mo knew about her. You like uh, you like your trad you like your trad wives huh you're into pearly you're into no no pearly's not a trad wife but I am to I am into the idea of like that lifestyle of like oh. making stuff from like baby food and your know, homemade cereal I've always been into stuff like that DIY stuff even is it okay very interesting I did I didn't know that about you you don't like pearly anymore I thought you were a big nah, pearly I don't like fan. pearly anymore what's wrong with pearly. Pearly she's is just uh, she's another, all for the guys. She, this is what happens with white women. You like them. They're cool for a while. You're like, yeah, let them in the barbecue real quick. And then they just do something. They, come to they the just cook out and drop the end bomb. Now they drop the end bomb. Back. They start, you start realizing, damn, y'all really trying to use this for money. You, you, and that's what it is. And I think people just don't understand the, uh, the concept of giving something energy is only going to make it stronger, you know? Like, regardless exactly. of what you feel about it, right? If somebody really did something that egregious and it's really just them saying something, you retweeting it and commenting on it is only going to make it way stronger, which is what she wanted in the first place. Like, if you were to just not even mention it, this would not even be a thing. I heard somebody said that she was planning on running for something, that it was a political thing. So, you know, it's... Running for what? I don't know yet. Maybe something in her district. Running for like the next Klan rally? Like, what do you mean? What is she? <laughs> what, is she what the fuck? Can women gonna, be Klan leaders? I don't know. Maybe they got Probably some kind not. of. Maybe they got some kind of woman what? sector. I think. I think. I think they just get stuck sewing the uh, the robes and hoods. Yeah. Is like the KKK party. sexist? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they're very, uh, they're very forward thinking. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think. You don't think the KKK role. got a little progressive no. to make sure that they're no. thinking? When, whenever you see the Klan in like a movie or anything, you don't see women there. They're just, it's kind of like, you know, I think it's kind of like the old ladies of a biker gang. They're there, but yeah, they're not. Yeah. I mean, listen, listen, have you ever seen any footage of a Klan thing and, and not, never met boobs? No, they, I mean, there may be like they one. Have over fucking there. sheets over there may, them. There may like, be one like Joan of Arc, like one you know, like hot. Like how do know, I know like, if there's not a transsexual KKK member in the group? There are a bunch of people oh, with pointy heads. Oh, heads and I sheets. think I think I don't think the train has. I don't think the clan has any transsexuals in it. I don't think that's happening. I I think that's. I think that they're high on their list of people that are not allowed. I don't. Mo, I don't what do you not so. understand, bro? They're not inclusive at all. Which, it's not, it's not that the clans just the don't like blacks. They, like they don't like Jews. Only, they don't like gays. They don't like like anybody but pure. They only whites. like pure white. So why not let some pure white women in? Well, they don't like. Well, they they let them around, but they're you know they're also uh, what what is it? it's like a, they gotta cook. They cook for the rallies. They can't be there though. It's not a matri. What do you call? It? What's the opposite of a matriarchy? It's a patriarchy. They're not gonna let women have any type of say, so okay. They're not gonna let them do anything like that. Like you, like Eddie said, they're probably so in the role. You know, maybe they like to cross on fire. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's one with the, with the, with the, with the job of lighting the cross up. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like, and, and you got you got to do a lot of work to get there. Would you get right. your twelve year old daughter to light a cross in a nigger's house yeah. in front of her oh, nigger's yeah. house? Oh my god! Listen, New York Governor Kathy Hochul came through with another gem. With another, with another W, another, another great, oh, no. another great thought, another great sentiment from Kathy Hochul. We know her and Eric Adams are just, you know, salt of the Bro, earth. She has a lot of good. Oh, there's a woman's KKK. 
I'm not shocked. I'm yeah, because they're not included. Oh, yeah. Women not, of the Ku Klux Klan, WKKK. That sounds like a news. Women of sound. the Ku Klux Klan. They might so they might be hanging around them. But known not. as women's Ku Klux Klan and ladies of the Invisible Empire. Wow, that's great. Sounds very spooky. <laughs> stay. I hope they stay invisible. So anyway, I told you they weren't included. Kathy Hochul came through with another great comment, and that that she wants to start banning face masks. Due to so that she can so she can lower the anti-Semitic behavior in New York City, she what? wants to ban face what masks. What does face masks have to do with anything? Well, everybody remembers the everybody remembers the famous Nazi footage of them coming down with COVID masks, right? Everybody remembers that 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 yeah. infamous footage where the Nazis had COVID masks on. I mean, <laughs> you know, for years, anti-Semites have been linked to uh, COVID masks and 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 and, mm-hmm. and facial masks. And the best part of this article. Was that it? Then it went to list a, a myriad of, of anti-Semitic moments that happened where they were literally not wearing a face mask. Like there was, a, there was a guy. Like every time they would, they'd be like, "Okay, there was one instance where a bunch of people went on the train and like we're talking about Zionists and stuff." That was the only one that had a mask. Everyone, they were like, okay, well, there was a guy who went on 42nd Street and said how, how he wished Hitler would come back. He wasn't wearing a mask, though. And they're like, oh, there was a guy who, who did this anti-Semitic thing. But, I mean, he wasn't wearing a mask. So it's like, even the, the odds, the numbers in the, in the news article don't even add up. Like, it, it's, not, it's like you're saying, we're going we're gonna to ban uh, face masks with swastikas on them. Like, you're going to ban face masks because of anti-Semitic behavior. And, oh, I don't know, maybe you want to add in a myriad of other crimes that are going on in this city? Like, this is... So, well, I mean, yeah, the no, mask- they, they want to ban the face mask because of crime, but they don't want to say it's because of crime. So they'd rather yes. say it's because of anti-Semitism. Why don't they just do like yeah. they did in because fucking... They, they, they can't use facial recognition when people are having, like, masks on. You know, I heard that China can use facial recognition through the mask. Really? Well, yeah. damn, China, yeah. look at you eyes. being all dance and shit. Bro, they'll just get you from your eyes. That's it. And, they, they, and then they get you with that one shot. They'll track you through the rest of the country. That's it. You're done. Once they get you on camera one time, they'll get like a follicle of your hair. Boom. You're in. You're in the database. You're getting cooked now. It's over. That's a good theory, Crow, that they want to be in the face mask so they can do facial recognition because you know that they're setting that up, I think, in the train stations and everything like that. So if you hop, the, you know, so if, if you end up hopping the train, they'll come to your house and arrest you for two, you know, two dollars and fifty cents, or, or no, it's definitely gonna be like one hundred and two hundred dollars for hopping for four dollars. And that, I that's saw what, a tick, I saw a TikTok video of a guy literally getting a ticket for exactly um hopping the thing. He had to pay eighty bucks. Oh no, I'm not. Well, the ticket's mm-hmm. gonna be more, but you know, the 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 initial cost is two fifty. Oh okay, okay, yeah. So that's what you think. I mean, why don't they just do? I think it was Chicago or Philly that they banned the shiesty mask because of crime. They're like, you can't. Tough, yeah. It was Philly that you can't go on the bus, you can't go in restaurants yeah. with shiesty masks, and it's like, yeah, what is that? I, it's like a kind of like a like a ski kind mask. of a ski mask, but not the one with the holes. It's like one that kind of like a ninja looking mask. So, yes. so it's like it's like an infinity scarf. Then. Something like uh, that. You could you yeah, could equate yeah. it to that. Yeah, and it's like they just straight up said, hey, we're gonna ban them because you guys want to be idiots. So we're gonna ban shiesties and. I don't think anybody with two brain cells thrown together had any issue with that. I think everybody was fine because they can see that the uh, you know that was like the new thing for kids to do is wear the shiesty mask and run around and shoot people and rob people and rape yeah. people. So I mean, why don't they? I don't. I actually do not think that that's true. I do not think that they believe that that that's that this is a uh, that this is kind of that th- yeah, that they believe that. Um, or that this is a way to to ban the mass for crime. I think they would come out and say that. I think they truly believe that this is going to that this is going to uh, bring down anti-Semitic behavior the same way that she thought that black kids did not know what a computer was. Well, yeah, yeah. This this woman has brain damage, so you know you don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's well, true. <laughs> she she might have a tumor, and we need to be concerned. Well, her her and Adams got the same type of disease because I'm sure he's <laughs> right there. I'm sure he's right there with her, trying to do. I mean, they literally you. It's like Vanessa with the lemon water. The two things cannot be further. Like causation is not correlation because one guy came on the train and screamed about the Jews with a mask on. Now nobody can wear a mask. Oh, and then uh, let me ask this because now this is going to be a big problem. So now what are all the people going to do that now that what are we going to do about the people who didn't get vaccinated? Now we don't have our masks to protect us 
from all the dirty people who aren't. Va- We're all vaccinated on the show, by the way. We all vaccinated. Trump, well, we, we all got our I booster was shots. Vaccinated multiple times. We what all got our booster when shots. Two comes out. Yeah, and, and you know they they mandate the masks again. Yeah. You know so what I mean? how are we going to protect ourselves from all those dirty people who didn't get their that didn't get their vaccines? Now that we don't, we won't have our masks to protect us. You know our our indestructible, our you know these masks that our, you know, our adamantium masks that they were proven to do such such an amazing job at blocking this stuff. You know, so I, I'm truly I'm worried now at what we're gonna do now that. Now that we won't have masks to protect us. So, well, how are they going to stop all the, the other Jews that's not Zionists from talking? Up? Are they going to tell them to stop wearing their masks too? Like, you saying the Jews? What about can't the wear Jews masks? talking, cr- going against the Zionist movement? What about them? Nobody what are they going to do masks. for them? Nobody can wear masks. It's going to be banned. Yeah. It's going to be just banned. banned for everybody. It's exactly. It just makes it's gonna it be, easier. It's going to be banned for everybody. There's going to be no masks. So, everybody, please make sure you get your shots because now in New York, it's going to be bad. It's yeah, get be, vaccinated. It's going to be so bad. Um, this episode is sponsored by Pfizer, so just know that we are, <laughs> we are, we are totally pro vax. Everybody goes as soon as we feel any type of uh, any type of like we can, we can literally feel our booster d- like diminishing in our body. Like we have like yeah. the like a game. Like we see Whenever the level. I feel a little bit of vax withdrawal. Yeah, we, right we, we go get it. Vax we go yeah. get it immediately. So, Gotta get to the vax doctor. So this you episode is with sponsored. That. By like good lick. This episode is sponsored by Pfizer and BlackRock, and our our, spo- our sponsors actually texted me today, and they said to make sure that to say on the show today that if um, if you bring your six year old to go get a vaccine, they get a free they get free gender assignment surgery, and they get free hormone replacement therapy if they get the vaccine. So make sure you the get the best in the state. Yeah, it's the I mean it's the best deal you can get. You know, you get your yeah. kid vaxxed up, and then you know if they want to switch around, you know they, yeah. they can do that. Yeah. If you want to, you know, you want to hold, you know, take your little f places, go ahead. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't. Say that. I didn't say anything. That is crazy. I didn't say anything. Pope Mo getting crazy right now. I didn't say- uh, Pope wait, Mo it, it, getting crazy. I think, I think that's. I think that one's going on a shirt. Uh. <laughs> Uh, you can't, you Taking can't. my F on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pope Mo. Yeah, you'll probably get a Pope seat now. That now you now you're working on your you you're working on your politics now. You, I just gotta go to school. That's right. That's right. Listen, EJ had a little bit of a surgery the other day. Okay, would you like to tell us what happened to you, Eddie? You had a surgery. I mean, I think I think it was a little clear uh, for those who watch the six hour you know towards the end i was rubbing my face yeah my it was kind of spooky are, because you were uh, like rubbing your jaw during that like the end of the show like the last hour and i was like what is wrong with you what's going on with you and then maybe about an hour after we got off the show he's like yo my gums are swollen yeah. like i'm not feeling yeah, I good got, i got the i got the the Got that what, what, puffy what, what, face what, what is it what is it yeah what is it called clay what yes tomorrow is it called the uh Abscess. You got an abscess. Yeah. 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 I got. I had a mean abscess work in its way. Oof. So, so I went to, to the dentist because you know they they give you the antibiotics and they were like, mm-hmm. let's uh, let's take X rays. I'm like, okay, all right. They take X rays. I'm like, yeah, you probably got to pull like you know like maybe three, four. They're like, no, nah, just two, just two. The ones that you the ones just at the two. bottom. I'm like, all right, those are the problems. One of them was a half a tooth. The other one was like. Pretty much, and also a half a tooth. It was, it was bad. Mm-hmm. Right. It went pretty smooth, though. I think. I mean, he 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 shot he shot my gums twice on this side. He he yanked it out. I didn't even feel a thing. Okay. He shot he shot my this side up once, and then he started working. I was like, Nah, nah. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta Throw shoot me up again, there. brother. Throw like I'm feeling I'm feeling player. the work this time. Throw a little more mm-hmm. in there, player. And then after that, all I felt was nothing. And next thing I know, he's like, all right, dude, you're done. I'm like, I'm done. How was the recovery from getting two teeth pulled? I, it went smooth for me. I remember Clay was telling me he was feeling like. Clay was yeah, like dog Clay was wild. I don't know. what They pulled up, They pulled some yeah. some other shit inside of you. They pulled like part of your DNA out of your fucking. Like, I, I don't know <laughs> what they did to you, bro. But I felt honestly, I probably felt better when I left that place than when I did walking in. So much Facts. so that you were smoking a cigarette. Like an hour later. Yeah, pretty much. I've done the same home. thing. 
I got home. I went to sleep for like three hours because, like, mm-hmm. at that point, my face was totally numb. So every time I talked, I was like, "Yeah, several." Blah, 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 blah. Like you had yep. a stroke. So I just went to bed. I woke up. I was like, "Oh, good. I could feel my face. I could talk." I went out, smoked a cigarette with <laughs> Show. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, the, the, the dentist told me you probably shouldn't smoke or use a straw. And then I was talking to Show yes. when I woke up, and she was like, "I smoked after I got my teeth pulled." I'm like, "All right, then. If you did it, then yeah, I'm but that's because you're fucking crazy." Hard. What'd you say, Clay? You just shouldn't pull hard when you smoke. Like, oh, don't yeah, like suck on the the filter too hard. Well, can't you get an infection mm-hmm. from like putting smoke you can. in the you can. in, in the hole? It gets dried out. And are you taking? It, the, it gets dried out, but when you suck on the cigarette, it it suctions all the blood clots out of where you got your teeth pulled. And, and I, that definitely slower. happened to me at least twice. Like one from eating. Yeah, like it'll make you bleed. Yep. And then then the other one was was smoking. Yep. And they put they put stitches in. Oh, they did and stitches on you? Out, one of them fell out immediately. Like, like, like as soon as, soon as, as I got home, it fell out. So I was like, all right. Okay. So now you have and a dentist. Do you, are you going to still go to this guy regularly, like every six well, months? I got, I got to go back in two weeks because I, I had a feeling that, that they redid and okay. they, wanted to, they wanted to put a, a crown. So I guess, you know, they, they put a mold in and sent – Sent out for, for a crown to be made. So they told me to come back in two nice. weeks for that. Very nice. But what did yeah. they say about your plaque? You had a story about the plaque. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I thought that my tooth broke, right? Because, like, I have two teeth, like, right next to each other. And, like, a big chunk, like, a big triangle cracked right in the middle of them. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, that's why I thought I needed four teeth pulled. And my Ooh. man said... Oh, that's just plaque buildup, bro. That's not even your tooth. I'm like, nigga, that's not even my tooth. Well, there you go. Oh, nigga, you need to start using that baking soda and salt, nigga. Like, nah, bro. When, I've when, never when, heard when of that, went... though. Your plaque, like, I've never heard of, I thought plaque just kind of laid in between your teeth. I never heard of it, like, nah, building bro, up. No, but it'll, it'll build up. Like, in my, like, my front like teeth right here, crowded. Like extra, it was like an that's extra crazy. layer over my tooth. That's wild, Yeah, dude. he's not flossing. Definitely. And when I don't, and when and when the guy was working on the the new filling, that that was the tooth that had all the plaque. So my man just got a little pick Scrape and just scraped that off. Damn, yep. I've I never heard know, I'm like, holy like shit, bro, my teeth. Like I can actually feel my like my actual teeth now. Like it's, it's oh, that's I like that. amazing, right? It was good, right? You got what flavor of bubble? You got the bubble gum flavor. What, what you got on your teeth? I didn't get anything, bro. Oh, damn. I get none of that. That's but all that. I was just appreciating that. My tooth did not crack straight down the middle. It was just the plaque. I'm not surprised because you literally do everything wrong with your teeth. Like you smoke, you eat gummies, you eat sour. Mm-hmm. Do you eat like you eat mm-hmm. Jolly Ranch? So you eat like that's what that's what my, the two things my dentist always told me to do is like if you smoke, he's like do, don't smoke and don't eat sucking candies. Like don't eat candies you can suck on. You do like literally everything. I do all the shit that you should. All do. of that. Everything. So I'm surprised they only have they only lost two teeth right now. And they say the other ones. I thought fine, it was gonna right? be way more too. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have to lose like three, like you said, like you didn't use like half. You yeah, lose like a whole three, row. Because he's been complaining about it since he's been in Myrtle Beach for a long time. Yeah, long fucking time. So I just thought over the time it just got worse and worse. So I was like, oh Man, shit, dude, you really got this. So, so I literally only had half a tooth because it, it cracked it down the middle, and I just ripped the, one of the halves out because it was on your own. It was like loose. Yeah, it was like loose. Oh like every time God. I ate, like it would pop out a little bit. Like it would, it would bend a little bit towards like, like out of my mouth. Oh and I'm like, you know what? I was just like, yeah. one day I'm like, you know, ah, fuck savage. this shit. I mean, and then I couldn't much. get the other half. And then Clay dropped wisdom on me. He's like, you're not gonna get the other half because them roots are still good. That's right. <laughs> my man's ripping his man teeth out, ripping his get it pubes anyway. out. You just, you just do your own thing, huh? You just ripping out. You just like, everything, man. I remember you just rip your arm pair head out. Still, I do. I, I he still I, I, do. Guy's a savage. Guy I, takes I, I matters into his own hands at all times. Well, I got a brother Anything that's a caveman, apparently. Anything you could do. So if you get uh, like a hemorrhoid, you're just gonna rip it off. You're just gonna rip it off yeah. with your bare hands. Uh, I get, I get a like a fucking kidney like stone. A, like you're gonna like rip it. Like 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 put your stone hand up there. What are those big ass bumps called that you got to go to the doctor to drain? I'm like, I'll probably just pop it myself. Sis, like yeah. Oil and a sis, you're just going to be a mm-hmm. pop that shit on your own. Oh, God. You do it all. You literally do it all, but you feel better now. 
I feel like, yeah, like I, like I, I when Clay was telling me like he felt terrible a couple of days after, I was like, bro, I feel great. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've heard that from Clay? I've heard that from another person too. Like they were like, oh, like oh, when I got my teeth pulled, it's gonna it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be tough. Like I literally remember getting my teeth pulled, going on the train, going shopping yep. after. I just had the gauze yep. on my mouth and it was like literally fine. I was like, I don't know yep. what they they're pulling some other shit out of your mouth too. They're pulling like. Oh, they, 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 they took an organ out while you were asleep, bro. Like, they, they t- you, you got your teeth pulled in Mexico and they, they took, took a fucking kidney out. Cool. I what do you get that you were like fucked up for like a few days? I was like, yeah, mine's like, exactly was the one, like, exactly like Eddie people? and Gritty's. I mean, I don't know. I got a big ass tooth pulled out of my head and it just felt like it was really taxing on me. Like, the next few days, like, I was tired. Like, I felt wow. like I had been sick. Wow. Mm. It was the yeah. op- it was probably the opposite for me because my teeth were already like dead, so the, my body was like, "Finally, bro." <laughs> your immune system because you didn't get your you didn't re up on your booster. That's what it was. You did, you did, you <laughs> you sponsored by Pfizer. Vax withdrawals. That's right. You were going through your vax withdrawals. You needed your fourteenth booster, and that should that should teach you a lesson. That should show you. No better. Do better. Everybody I had to get a second vaccine card. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, my, all mine's full up. Mine's full already. Seriously. Bro, mine is mine's falling apart. Like mine's so old. Like I should re up and get a fresh one. Yeah, you gotta get. I need, a, I need to get it on my black card. I got a binder full of them. So whenever I go I to like to, a restaurant, I need, or something, to get a, I need to get mine laminated so it doesn't <laughs> fuck up. That's on how me. I got it. I got mine weatherproof, so I could I could I show actually, you. I have you a chip in my again. neck. They, they could scan it. They just shows how yeah. many times. And they scan me and it says how many vaccines I've had. Hell That's yeah. dope. I gotta get that. You That's skipped. You, you skipped the brain surgery. Went to the neck surgery. That's what yep. you gotta do. Clay, Clay's down with the Clay's down with the chip. He don't mind getting the, the he don't mind getting the mark of the beast in his hand. No, I got the chip. You down? You, you, down you know chip. what? You know what? If they if they, if they give me two free teeth implants and they just chip those, like I'll I'll take it. I'll do it. We'll, we're, yeah, we're gonna I'll, get our I'll take the chip. I'm cool with the government. I like well, the government. Well, the government apparently there's a Japanese scientist that found out a way to grow teeth back. Yeah, we were you not on the six hour special? We literally talked yeah. about that. Yeah, we were literally. Really asking, I was not saying it like that. I was saying it for the like for those who may not have know that. But I was okay, about to say, yes. you, I was about to say like you don't remember we discussed this already. <laughs> Old news, been there. Speaking of news, Clay, what were you telling me about the McDonald app? Uh oh. Oh yeah. So I oh, guess God. it came out that the McDonald's app spies on you and gives you pricing and like deals according to the data that is collected on you. So it tries to know what day that we can get paid on. It tries to figure out how much money you make. It tries to estimate when you will and won't order, you know, you know, maybe if you have kids, like anything like that. So it'll give you deals based on what it can figure out about you through knowing your purchase history you know, having access to your email and your phone number and that kind of stuff. And uh, now people are essentially getting, you know, like, let's say it's the last day before you get paid and McDonald's knows that you're broke. It'll give you like a 40% off coupon. So you can get like Damn. chickens. That's good. And then, like though. the day that I you mean, do get paid, no deals. Right. You know? I think that's good. They might bump that's up cool. the price. But meanwhile, but meanwhile, I, I could show up to you could show up to McDonald's the same day and you don't get the 80 percent off deal. Of course not. No, because you because you because you know, you didn't get the app, bro. They, they know you're broke. How poor we are. But then oh, fuck you are. But bro. then it's going to work the other way around because then they find out that Uber was was raising a price on people whose battery was low or about to die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Um, Yeah. So if your battery is low on Uber, they'll charge you more. They'll give you a higher rate. Because they know that your phone's about to die. Oh shit! Like you're dead. So basically, they can even though McDonald's is using it as a way to give you some deals right now, they can use it the other way around, and they can manipulate you. You know, based they can manipulate things based on your desperation for the product and how bad you Target want. Target does that too. Who does you know, that? Target? Other, yeah, That's Target say, does like, it. The, the, the store code. And, and yeah. also doing it that way forces them to raise the base price of it. So right. if you don't have the app or you're not getting a deal, the base price is high because the McDonald's app is always giving you a deal based on what it thinks you, where it thinks you're at. And this is everybody's like going on about the McDonald's app that I should get it. They love the McDonald's app. And I was like, hell no, no bro. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Always remember that whenever these companies give you something for free, they're getting something far greater in return. And that's your data. They're going to get your, they're going to get your, uh, your credit card. Which, which- 
they with these rules like to know money. when you're gonna get paid. So if they're gonna use it in in this way, they will use it the other way. Oh, it's raining. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jack the price up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I remember Wendy's. Didn't Wendy's get caught with that? Maybe a couple months ago that they were doing surge pricing and they're like, oh no, we're not doing that. We would never do something like that. Like based on like, oh if if there's a lot of people that want the uh, like if there's a lot of people ordering, they'll raise the price. Or if it's bad weather, they'll raise the price. Mm-hmm. So this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna do it the other way. They're gonna do it where. They find Plus out the Eddie don't got enough money, so they're gonna they're gonna give him a little deal. But they'll also do it the other way, I guess, where they figure if you got the money, they're gonna juice you. They're gonna get more money out of you if they can. Uh, yeah. And didn't you say that happened when you were buying something on Amazon, Clay? Yeah, I noticed the other day, well, uh, not the other day, like a month ago, I was I was shopping for an air conditioner and uh, it was on Amazon and it was two seventy five when I looked at it. I'm not a prime subscriber. And I was just going to pay shipping and all that. And it was $275 to get shipped to my house. Uh, but I asked my mom to buy it for me because she had Prime. And when she bought it, it was two, It was, it was was $300. Oh, my God. Uh, Interesting. You, they found, you think you, you surmise because your mom makes more money. And because of her purchases, they figured that she has a, a, a good amount of money, right? Or something like that? Yeah, I gave her a different she's price. She's buying some expensive shit. That, and that's what I'm saying. That's what they're going to start doing. You think it's going to work the... It's only going to work one way where they go, oh, we're going to give you a deal. Don't worry. We we see we see in your picture role that you got three no. kids. So we're going to give you a nice deal for those three little three They're little doing guys. algorithms to figure out how to get I the mean, last sense out of you. I that's mean, they got... The they, Amazon got in trouble for Cyber Mondays because exactly this issue. Like, mm-hmm. they were just changing... Walmart had the same problem that they were just fucking with the prices and just jacking them up and lowering them down and price uh, items that was always one price uh they they created algorithm where it will just manipulate the user so i mean it's been going it's on manipulation for a few years now. at its finest and they will use it the other way so if you think it's only going to work with deals you better get your ass ready okay they get freaking ready because they're going to juice you they're going to get you every way they freaking can. So I would take off that fucking McDonald's Fuck the McDonald's app. Okay, just go <laughs> in the store and pay for yourself. I mean, listen, even though me and Clay got, what's this app called on our phone? Zhao Hong Shu. We got Zhao Hong Shu. Zhao Hong Shu. Let me tell you right now, we talked about Zhao Hong Shu on the last episode. Zhao Hong Shu knows when, Zhao Hong Shu knows when Clay and I take a shit. It knows our credit card information. Zhao Hung Chu knows every girlfriend we've ever had. Zhao Hung Chu knows when I lost my virginity. Zhao Hung Chu probably knows my sperm count right now. Okay, because they they're getting and, and now I got uh, what do I got? WeChat too now. I'm, I'm on the WeChat. Uh, yeah. You're on I'm on, WeChat I'm on the WeChat. Bro, bro. Can I go? Can I go to the bathroom, boss? Dude, you, you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> I gotta pee so bad. WeChat. Yeah, they already. <laughs> Your your app already knew. My app knew that you had to pee right now. Zhao Hong Chu told me that you had to pee. I was going to let you go. Yo, Zhao Hong Chu's crazy. Clay just sent me like a dead body that was hanging out in a tree. Like a guy was fishing and it was just like a pair of legs just dangling on a tree with like a black bag. This is the app that Clay and I were talking about in the last episode. If you haven't heard it yet, make sure you go because let me tell you this. Um, you're going to be on the ground floor of something special. It's not that this is like more entertaining than American social media yet or TikTok yet, but it's going to be because it's more lawless. It's way less regulated. Like right now you see crazy shit. You see a lot of people. I need to get on it. You see, I'll send it to you. You see a lot of people teaching Chinese people how to speak English, but you'll run into a lot of crazy stuff on there. And like we said, it's the ground floor. So make sure you get in there so you can start seeing what's going on because Clay's addicted to it. Cause he's sending me, I send him Twitter gore and he'll send me Zhao Hong Chu videos all day. He'll send me what? Chinese people, like, you know, Chinese people smacking an alligator or something like that. They what? don't, they got alligators all over there. And they don't like them. So they don't like the alligators over there. They don't. <laughs> so there's a bunch of Florida people. Yeah, they got more alligators in Florida for sure, bro. They're just crawling with them. Wow. Zhao Hong Shu's crazy, bro. Yeah, the guy was like just fishing. He saw a dead body and he just kept it moving. There was nothing, nothing this is new. This my type of app. It was nothing new. Yeah, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. So yeah, not, so I'm telling you to delete the McDonald's app, but you know that that thing knows my that thing knows everything about me. That thing got my my fucking DNA already ingrained in it right now. My, my take mom to the- was, was was making fun of me. She saw me. She saw me on it. Like I was caught in the Zhao Hong Shu. I was just going video after video. She's like, in the web. But she's like, you tell me not to get TikTok, and <laughs> that thing is tracking you. And oh this yeah. And that. Oh yeah. And the short videos are bad for your brain. It's so melting. I have a Question. Brain, I have a question so about good. This, you got that shoot right app. now, right? Is, is, is this app free? Yeah, yeah of course yeah, it's free. Yeah. Listen, like I said, 
everything that we're everything that's juicing us and milking us is free because they're getting way more on the back end. They're getting. Should we throw some Brady knows best on this app? Episode, clips well, on we have to we have to translate it to Chinese probably. We have. To I mean, get, they'll love it anyway. There's there's a lot of English speakers in China. We have to be like Mr. Beast where we get like Chinese actors, voice actors to to dub us, to dub our to dub <laughs> our. We get like famous. No, Chinese we should just actors. throw ourselves on there and just just let the just let the Chinese love us. I don't know. Let's see. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna start making some Zhao Hong Chu videos and. I think you. I think. I think we, we. We could have a market. There could be a market. There we for we us. can make a market. We can eat we some can Chinese so products. Big in China. That's we it. really gonna, would. That, that's they better be not up. see anything we've set up until this point. Why? Why would we not live this? We literally pray China all the time. They're so we like love you know, China. You know, actually, that's true. And they shouldn't look back at anything we've ever done because no, all, take, we do pray China. China. all we do is pray China. Because like literally, our kids. What are they doing in school? They're learning about like gender, and their kids are putting together guns. Like so serious. Yeah, yeah. Like I was exercising, climbing ropes at like and, and, and you saw Tom you I mean you, you saw the um the the videos of uh the Chinese tough guy he like crushes like an apple underneath his chin and he like puts yeah. his like finger through a can of Pepsi dude, it's a beast and he like dude's a beast yeah. I'm telling my sister I call my sister every day say listen send send my send send my nephews to China just send them to school in China just have them take come have them come back for the summer they'll be able to take over the world when they come back here. Trust me. Every 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 day at school now they have like a it's like a parade or pajama day or something. Like that. They're not even doing any oh work. That is the worst. It's just like, oh yeah, we're just yeah, we're just gonna hang out today. You know, today's like, today we're gonna learn about pajama day. Hey, all the staff come in and wear pajamas. Oh, I don't mind pajamas. Day. Day. Don't don't kids only go to school like like hundred fifty days out of the oh, year? Oh, every day they have a day off. Every day my nephew's off. My nephew stays out of school. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm home. I'm home right now. I'm like, again. right now. And when it, when, when, when they're not a whole when when they're not off for a week, there's like half a day every other day. Like I'm not even. <laughs> he don't even go. Whenever it's a half a day, my man don't even go. He's like, fuck that. I'm not even going in. I'm just staying home. Like I never gonna, did. We ain't gonna learn shit. We ain't even gonna learn nothing. What are you gonna say, Crow? I was gonna say that there, um, th- literally that there's a, there's a school over here near a school near me. I actually wanted to shut down um because like of the heat like heat going up a few inches it's not even at 100 yet it's not even that I'm bad i'm sitting they, in they, my fucking room i don't got no ac your kids can, your kids can learn what the hell because the they're heat. too gentle now they're they're too sensitive they can't stand the heat i it mean all, it's so bad it's, it no all, one has ever been in 100 degrees ever in america it apparently. all went downhill when he took away <laughs> dodgeball it would all so went downhill degrees probably every day in texas <laughs> Whenever they, whenever they took whenever they took away a game where we can just just throw balls at each other's fucking heads and give each other concussions, that's when everything started going downhill, in my opinion. That's we were the, about it. We were the last that's generation, it. and like, listen, they, they let me and Mo and me and they let all of us play dodgeball. They didn't care that we were blind. They're like, nope. hey, get in there, get get in <laughs> nope. the front of there, come on. We were getting nope. beat. I remember one time I got hit with the ball so hard, you know, the dodgeball has like all those dots. It was mm-hmm. implanted in my face. The oh, dots, see, the dots see, were, I look like I look like Harvey Two Face, dead ass, like because I didn't even see it coming. I was like, huh? Just, bam! Like it just caught me right in the side of the face, bro. It was the best. It was amazing. And now, for now, the kids are going out without at least. If you're gonna graduate without at least one concussion, did you even go to school? Did you no. even? <laughs> did you even no. live? You know you what I mean? Not participate you gotta break a bone, game. fracture, yeah. disconnect something. Something's you know, gotta happen. You. Something tragic has to happen to you. Somebody, you know, yeah. something something has to go down. Okay. You have to run into a locker. Something, something gotta break on right. your body right. in school. Right. So I mean, listen. I guess keep the McDonald's app if you want. Every every app that we have is gonna be manipulating you. And I guess the the, the problem is when it comes to like it it changing the prices for what what is charging you like it, yeah. that's that's like a that's that's where you got to draw the line you know you can take so my it, information you can have my social security but once you once i'm paying an extra 40 beans for my tv that's where i draw the freaking line dude because you're already so, making hand over fist on us so why do you need to add more cool. you know what i mean so clay did you did you did you actually have your mom go through with it or did you just say oh, whatever i'll do it since it was be cheaper uh, what are you talking about? The, the uh, thing that you bought, the AC. The AC. Yeah. Did your mom buy it or did you buy it? Yeah, did you? Did you? Did she? Did she? Oh buy no, it? yeah, she bought it. <laughs> she didn't care. She was like, <laughs> paid the extra $50. forty beans. And I, never, I really didn't say nothing to her. Okay. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't enlighten her. Well, let me tell you, that is a very nice AC because I was in the AC all day when I went to Clay's house last week. I was in the city, and let me tell you what I was doing in the AC all day. 
Okay. Oh God, it's so nasty. It's so I was, first of all, I was gooning all day. Clay came home to multiple man. screens and a and a weird smell in the air, and I was like, "My bad, bro. You know, you got you when a, you know when duty calls, you got to goon. You know what I mean? Got to have oh, it." No. But when I wasn't gooning, I was playing. Hello Kitty and Friends Sanrio Racers. Okay. What the fuck is that? A fire video game. Game of the year. Game of the year. And listen, Clay and I play games. You've seen us. We are of hardcore course. gamers. <laughs> if anybody knows about games, it's these two guys. These two straight how white did, males. Okay. How can it be a game of the year if it didn't even come out this year? It's a game of every year. It, yeah, it's, it's the a game, game of every year. <laughs> it, it transcends the year. It just keeps going. It just keeps getting nominated. Okay. Never so heard basically, of this game before. Clay start Clay, Clay and I were hanging out. We were gaming. You know, we were getting some hardcore gaming in League of Legends, Call of Duty. I mean, we we're, we're just playing Nightmare Cart. Yeah, we were you know about League of Legends. Well, we were playing everything. Clay and I are on top of the leaderboards. All right. So Clay <laughs> decides to download this game called Night. What is it? Nightmare Cart. Yeah. Nightmare Cart. You play a ghoul. You play a goblin. It's very, you know, very, uh, very dark, very scary, very cool. You can throw rockets out of your cart. And while Clay's playing that, I tap him on the shoulder. Actually, I tap him on the thigh softly, and I say, "Hey, yo." I say, "Listen, <laughs> softly." Fuck this game. Did you know they made a game exactly like this, but with Hello Kitty and all her friends? And he was <sighs> like, "Really?" And I was like, yeah, you should check it out. He's like, I'm going to check it out. It was 20 beans, and Clay was like, say less, bro. My man, <laughs> my man just, my man just, you know, he put his, he put his, he put his, uh, his hand up to the screen, just waved it, and, and the chip did its thing, and he bought the game yeah, that was, way. I thought he, he did it with his neck. Yeah, well, he has a chip in his neck for the COVID shot, and he has a chip in he his He has a wire in my thumb. He has a chip got in his you, hand for you. where his credit card is. So he you. waved that his hand sense. across TV, and we bought Hello Kitty Racers. And I'm thinking Clay is going to hate this game, but Clay, you started playing it before me. And w w what did you think? I was like, this is pretty fun. It's fucking sick. You were playing Hello Kitty and driving around in this cartoony cute world. I was Hello world. Kitty. I was Pom Pom Purrin. Yeah. I was My Melody. I was Cinnamon Roll. My man knows all the names. He didn't know none of the names before this. Yeah. When I started dropping names, he was like, nah, you gay for that. Now look at you. My man knows all the names. <laughs> <laughs> My man knows all the names right now. My man was really feeling his game. I was feeling his game. Listen, if you want to feel good about yourself, if you want to like have a great day and feel accomplished... Play Hello Kitty Racers because that like they program that game to like let you win. To make, they're like, how can we make this game like let you win, bro? Like, there's maybe like I think we lost like three times and lost his second place maybe. There was like one or two times where they gangbang Clay like Cinderella and my melody <laughs> came and slapped Clay around, you know. And it's like Mario Kart where you have um. You can have like tools and stuff. You can have like um, in this game, you yeah, can yeah, have yeah. a pie. You can throw a pie at somebody. You can put a traffic cone up. You can also have rainbows that'll accelerate you. Uh, Eddie, are we not keeping your attention? This is literally Mario I'm Kart with different. Right okay, you're, oh, you're, play <laughs> I'm playing right now. you're playing Hello Kitty races right now. Right now, oh, yeah, as we so speak. I'm on Rainbow Road. <laughs> right, right. So, so anyway, we, we'll get we'll get to Eddie's review in a second. So you I have you can have these out. tools that you can throw at people and ways to sabotage people or ways to boost yourself. You can boost your speed and you're playing. And yo, this game does everything in its power. First of all, you like literally when your your natural speed is like mad slow. Like you're not <laughs> even going that fast. Like you cannot even spin out of control. Whenever you like crash into the wall, the game will literally just like place you back on the track. Like it'll just like throw you back on exactly you were supposed to go and like kind of give you like a boost like a baby like it's okay here 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 like it just here here baby get back on the track like there'll be like obstructions in the road and half the time like the snowball will come it'll just go right through it like it's like ah just just go ahead just just I wave right love, through it. I would love to play this game with you guys, all four of us, just playing this. Oh, we'll tell you that's where the beauty really comes in if we all play. I don't know if we could do four player. I know you could do two player, which Clay I think and I, he does it to three. Okay, so we, all right, we, at least we could do that. That's where the beauty comes in. If you have so anyway, the game is like ridiculously like the 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 two thoughts in their mind was well number one, let's do as little work as possible for this game and get as much money as we can because there's Sanrio has like a thousand characters. There's only like twelve in the game. They could have put like I think it's eight. Is it only eight? Yeah. No way. I thought it was. 12. It might be twelve. It's, I it's, think it's, eight. it's it's eight to twelve characters when there's like a million, right? It's like the same soundtrack the whole 
game. It's like only like two or three songs, but the song slap. I was singing them the whole for like three days straight. I was singing all the songs. Okay. It's it's a super simple game. Like it's very like no frills, simple no. graphics, they two songs, ten characters. As little as possible to make this game. They spent like a week making this game. Okay. Graphics are not not up there. I mean, there was no though. day one patch. There's been no updates. No, no, it's, it's because there is a glitch like on the last race, you go up on, on this hill, right? And if you kind of swerve a little too far to the left you'll get stuck in this ditch but every time bro you will win that race because all the Senrio characters get stuck in that ditch eventually in that in that race so you you're guaranteed to win the last race because every computer character gets stuck in that ditch watch you'll put you'll you'll see eddie because you have it um it's super easy. Like, they literally just didn't even put that much thought into it. They didn't even put that much effort into it. It's really only two modes. So you have the, the tour mode where there's four different tours, and each, each, each tour has four races, right? And in one of the races, you can either get a plane. Um, this is it, a Liberty Mario Kart. It goes between a plane. A plane, a boat, or a car. plane, a boat, a car. So you have four different tours you can go through. Once you blow through that, you can do the challenges where it's like, hey, just kind of – Go through these gates, like go through these gates, shape this Hello Kitty's head as fast as you can, or collect these cupcakes, or collect these apples. And our favorite is like when they just, well, you could tell when they ran out of an idea because it was like, just go around the track. That was one of the challenges. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, literally, one of the challenges was go, just, go get to the finish line as fast as you can. <laughs> And there's just like no way you could even mess that up. Clay and I oh did get stuck God. on two challenges, though. You want to talk about those, Clay? We did. We there was actually some like a you. hard part. Yeah, there was some difficulty. It was the apples challenges. The apples <laughs> challenges were a little hard for us. Yeah, the apples challenges. You got to go fast as you can. You got to and you got to get as many apples as you can. I mean, no, you have to get ninety nine. I'm saying you have it. to get ninety nine <laughs> apples, right? But the problem yeah. was on the car it was fine, but on the boat, the man, like the way it maneuvered for us. It took us like a while to get those apples. Like we had two mm. two different um two different challenges with the apples and we were blowing through every race. You guys, I understand. It took us probably almost 2 hours to beat this game. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> and, and and like an hour and a half of that was doing the apples <laughs> challenge. Like that was le legitimately hard and we were like screaming once we were done. You would have thought we like won the like the World Cup, like the World Series when we were done. Like, yeah. Like and we were invested in this game. Like if somebody passed you, we got pissed. I was like, Clay, how the fuck are you gonna let my <laughs> melody pass you right now, bro? You better use your pie and knock this bitch off the fucking track. Right now. It was personal. So Clay, was the the pie the blue shell in the game? The pie is the green shell. It's the green shell of the game. Okay, got you. Bro, the game is sick. The game is sick. And it's like, this is not a game that you has any replayability except for Clay and I. We played that shit for days. When Clay went to work, bro, I was in I was in the goon cave playing Hello Kitty. And Look at fucking Eddie. Bro. He's all right. I'm, right I'm, done like, this. I'm done playing. I'm He's done bumping. Done. And when you after a while, I played the game and I started playing like G Unit as my side. I just put like headphones on. I started there's no better feeling than playing Hello Kitty San Remo Flint and then playing G Unit. Like that is that is peak human experience right there. G Unit? Yeah, it's just like, you know, Hello Kitty just vibing around. Easy to see when you look at me. 50. Huh. In the bag. You just like swerving, you knocking, knocking Cinerol <laughs> off the track. Eddie, we, we convinced you to play this game. What did you think okay. of this? Okay. So to be to be completely honest, right? I don't even know why you guys have paid twenty dollars for this game. We I got to. it. 93% off. It was like $2. And then I wound up getting it for free because I had some extra points. So right. it was that, that, that right there made it a good Well, because you got yours game. on your Switch and we got ours on Steam. You got yours on Steam. Okay. Yeah. And I think there's so a version you can get on free. Amazon. So that, 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 that gives it a point right there for me just because right. I, I didn't have to pay money for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just Mario Kart Lite. Uh, I wish there was more weapons, honestly. It's just the pie and the boosters and that and one cones. thing that makes everybody fucking slow. Yeah, you have the clock that makes everybody slow in um, front of you. That's oh. it. That's all you got. You got three things. It's like four or five. 
And a lot of them repeat all the time, though. Like if you, yeah, a lot of times, you're, it's the clock, it's the cones. For some reason, you'll you'll be doing a race, and like for three races in a row, you'll only get like a cone, or you'll only get a pie, you'll only get a bubble. It's dumb. Yo, Clay and I played for two days, and we got a clock like in like day three, I think. We didn't even know you can get yeah. the clock. We thought the I game was just doing. It. I'd only get hit with them. Yeah, yeah. So we we thought like, oh, maybe the game does it like uh, periodically to slow everybody down, and then we finally got one. I was like. How have we played this game for 48 hours and we never got the clock? You never got so that. So that is a little bug in the game that I wish they went back and fixed this out. You know, we, we need a little more diversity with our our weapons and our boosters. But that rainbow, though, it's over. Once you get the rainbow. The rainbow is like the star in Mario You Kart. are done. Got you. you are. Ew, you are. Bro, they, I never got that either, man. I uh, only got I only got the, the force field and the pie and the booster. Did you, you never got the cones yet? No. Oh, the cones are pretty lame. You don't really. You just. It just yeah, they're just bananas. Shit. Yeah, exactly. It just knocks people off the track. <laughs> but sometimes though, the game will glitch out and it'll go against the coders' um, will of making it the easiest game you've ever played. And like once in a while, you'll be doing everything fine, and like my melody will get a rainbow and fuck you up out of nowhere. Like for like like at the on the last second. Of it's the an last easy game. But you gotta be on your toes. You gotta you gotta stay on your toes. You gotta make sure you don't fall asleep at the wheel because once in a while, and it's like bro, like they do everything in their power for you to win. Like I'll, I'll see characters like a mile in front of me just run into a wall. And it's like, it's almost like the game goes, all right, like, all right, is it getting a little too hard for you? We, I got you. Like a character I'm would just. I'm not going to lie, bro. The one time yeah. I got second, the one time I got second was because I, I wound up driving the wrong way for a lap. And I, I still got <laughs> the whole second. Lap, it literally so says wrong <laughs> way in humongous letters. How did you run, do that for a whole lap? I and and I works. still got, no, and the fucked up part is I still got second, though. Wow. <laughs> That's the fucked up part. That's how easy this game really is. You had a whole and, lap. And, and, and also, and also, at that point, I didn't even know the button to use weapons. So I was just driving. Just I wasn't doing even it raw. using any boosters. Doing it raw. Dude, that's <laughs> insane. And a lot of times, once you get great at this game, like Clay and I, you'll just lap everybody. Like, we just started lapping people. Especially in the boat race, because everybody's sliding out of control. Like, you'd think the computer would have handling skills, no, the computer is slipping everywhere, crashing into walls, getting stuck in places, and you're just lapping everywhere. Does this game not have a difficulty choice? Like no at way. All? Difficulty is like you Baby. know, like seven year old girl. Baby game. This is a this is a like the definition of baby game, dude. Epic. Oh my god, I would be so insulted as a girl if this was what I bought and this is what it was doing. Listen, this game is catered towards, you know, women. And obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of Japanese fans and Asian people that like seeing Rio. And, you know, those two demographics are not known for their driving skills. So, you know, they had to tone it down a little bit. You know, that, nah, that's that, crazy. That, that, yeah. How's that crazy? How's that crazy? That's not true. Which part? That women from these countries don't know how to drive? Not well? women from the countries. Women and Asian people are not known women how to drive. Women in Asian. So women in Asian can drive. So these are people that well. this is like where, where the game is, is you know, it's catering to, right? Man. So they can't make so it, they can't, they can't, they can't make it like need for speed. You don't know how yeah. they're going to win. Jay didn't do really good in that game either. <laughs> I, I, I wonder why. But she is a good driver, though. Jay is a good driver. She, she sucked that need for speed. I'm not going to lie. She's not good at driving in the game. You know what I mean? So I think that's maybe why the difficulty is not really up there. It's for the, it's for the demographics, for the people, you know, plays, playing the game. Well, what, it's, it's a five out of five. For some reason, I mean, it's just, I was literally obsessed with it for days. And I'm having withdrawals. I want to play hearing, this game I'm hearing now. the songs in my head. Like, Were you able to get it on your PC? I didn't try it yet. I'm, I might try it after this because I, it, we saw that you can get it on Amazon somehow, and I guess maybe you could just download it to your computer. So I'm going to try that after this, and, and I'm going to see if I can get it. Then I got to get a controller. Let me know if it works. And, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you could play with your keyboard if you want, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that, I'm sh I'm sure that'll be a big adjustment. I'm sure, I'm, sure it'll be, I'm sure there'll be a big learning curve when it comes to switching to the keyboard, right? I'm sure I'll end up. I'm sure I'll lose a few races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you go out. You play Hello Kitty. Excuse me. You never know. Maybe when we do our first Gritty Knows Best meetup and convention, we'll set up a screen. Hello Kitty Racers <laughs> right on there. I wouldn't mind that. I think that'll be great. We could do that Hello Kitty Racers uh, Championship. 
Oh, oh my yeah. We God. got a big trophy. I mean, Clay and I are about to get shirts. I saw they had a Hello Kitty racing jacket. I'm about to, I'm copping oh, that. Man. I'm copping the racing jacket, dude. I don't care. That sounds fire. I'm not Clay gonna and I are going to Anime <laughs> Con. We're going so to you're Anime Con. Five with the out of five, right? Five out of five game. What about you, Clay? I would say five out of five. I would, I would say more than that if I was allowed to. Damn, damn. Right. Off I'm the a scale. Hater, man. It's off the scale. Only, the only competition is Andy and Lele. And they have not made a... We, we saw that they keep making updates for what, what's going to happen with the game, but um, no exact release date on the next episodes of the game. We just saw that... What did the update say? That, it's good, that they're working on it because it's going to be a huge game? Like, it's going to be a lot of... They're adding a lot of story to it, right? Yeah, yeah. They had to, like, add another chapter. Yeah, so Andy and Layla is going to be a big update because the game is still in development, so... They're just adding new chapters until the game's over, and then I guess it'll be an official game. So you already know that when the next chapters of Andy and Lele come out, we're going to play it. We're going to talk about it. Do you guys have anything to say before we get out of here? Because I got to go download Hitty Kitty Racers, and I got to I gotta waste hours of my life. Hello nah, Kitty. nothing to say. Hello Kitty 2.5, what's up? Yeah, when are we getting a sequel, dude? When are we getting yeah. Hello Kitty Sanrio Racers 2? Yeah, with oh, all no. the brutalness. I mean, that, was, that was my score for it. We can it. get motorcycles in the next one. Yeah, that'll be the next video. Oh, yeah. That'll be fire. We gotta Hello, get another video. Motorcycle sounds fire. Hell yeah. We can get a, like a, they, they can put a, a, you know what I saw driving around the street when I was coming up from New York? I saw a, um, the, what is that Tesla car called? The the smart, what's that one that looks like a tank? Smart truck? The cyber truck? The cyber, the cyber truck. truck. I saw one of them rolling around the street the other day. I didn't even know they really? were out. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was in. I thought, I was, I thought those were like fake. I nah, didn't bro, I, I, thought I, was, I don't even pay attention. I thought we were going to fucking war. I'm months. like, what the hell is this? Is this like, are they looking for landmines? I was like, what kind of vehicles? They're like, oh, it's a cyber <laughs> truck. I was like, wow, cyber truck, baby. Things, these things are on the streets right now. They got released during the winter, and then it got trapped in a bunch of snow banks because it it was shitty. Yeah, so really? They probably doing another test run out in the summer and spring. Not that smart. Not that smart. I don't know why he did it. I don't know why he released it in the winter with all those bugs, but he did it. I mean, you know, they got they got to put things out. You know, they got they got to put things out so they can have test dummies. You know what I mean? I guess so. Unlike the COVID shot, which came out completely hundred percent good, there was no bugs in that at all. No, no bugs. Problem. No bugs. No, 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 that was a great good. product. Yeah. I'm still healthy. They say no. that, that that cigarettes are the greatest product, right? But uh, the Moderna vaccine <laughs> was the greatest product. No, I don't know. I went right. with the Johnson and Johnson. Johnson, not the J and J. Not the J and J. They got they got lead in their baby powder. So imagine what's in not their Not J and J. Oh, man, I need do, to not, get another do not do not do not um, shout out competing advertisers on this. We don't. Okay. We, don't yeah, we are a Moderna show. We are a um, Pfizer sponsored podcast, so I have to edit that out right now. I'm sorry. We are sponsored by Pfizer and BlackRock. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we are rebuilding Ukraine one block at a time, turning it into a smart city. I mean, because that's that's what we need. We need the smart city in the Ukraine. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, of course. We need to turn I, Kiev into a smart city. That's the that's what needs to happen after the bloodshed. You know what I mean? We're not in the future until our coffees are given to us by robots. No, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm about. Well, we, well, we have the uh, robot that's delivering Chinese food at, at Myrtle Beach. Let me tell I you what. That. Let me tell you that what. Robot. That guy Wait, that was fucking around. That, what? This is why you should have went. You missed like literally the best trip. Which is insane. Like we literally did everything way better than we did the last. We went to the hot tub. Like we had the best time. You like, nah, I'm not gonna go. Fuck y'all. Yeah. No, oh, you keep it. saying why you keep changing it we each had the time. Like time. I was like yeah, saying yeah, like, yeah, I just you were like, oh, with you guys. I need a job. I, I got, I got to do an interview. Excuse me for wanting money to buy a ring. For the- I gotta do it. Are you are you are you saying on the podcast right now that you're planning to propose? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying to y'all. Well, are you literally audience. saying it to the, the audience now. too? How do you know well, someone's I, not gonna get back to? It's not gonna get back to her. Oh nah, she don't watch us anymore. I, somebody, but a lot of people do. They might, they might text her and say that she's. They're not gonna text her. You don't so think you, so? so I don't got no snitches up. in my squad. So if you're bringing this up, then damn, gritty. Can can, uh, can we bring that that thing up? I mean, you what bring it up? up. I don't even know what, what you're talking about. Bring it up. I don't even know what he's on. What, so I thought it was. I thought it was a crown, not a ring. <laughs> oh. Yes, because I still want the crown, but I want the crown as something okay. that when you when you're there. What? What did I say? Just, let's let's what explain. You, let's you? let's explain this what, because what? nobody knows what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Explain oh. what the crown is. Can EJ explain? Because you explained it. You explained it better. EJ, do it, do it, do it. What did I say? 
So from what I remember, my man like wanted a vote. Like we were, we, we were, it was me, Mo, and a couple other people in a Zoom thing. And my man said, I, I want all your opinions on this because there were a lot of females in there. And he said, how would you feel if your man's got you an engagement crown? <laughs> And I'll tell you something right now, Mo. None of them, none of the, none of the women that you you proposed that idea to seemed impressed <laughs> at all. No, they wasn't. They were like, "What the fuck is this man talking about?" It what was drug is he on? I have. It, weren't they like, I've, that, "Were they saying like, oh, that's that's unique." Uh, no, that is, yeah, that's, 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 that's unique. I've that's never heard unique. That. And he goes, "I still want a ring." <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's a crowism right there. How, okay, so explain to us the moment when this idea pops into the crow because crows are very smart. You know, you have a lot of yeah, uh, yeah. Lot, so what crow. happened to my crow brain? What happened? I just. I think of my woman as a queen, right? Royalty, as I am royalty, and right, I always Nubian wanted king. to do something cool, huh? You're a Nubian king. I'm a new. I don't know about Nubia. I'm not. I'm probably not from no Nubia. Um, Nubia. What the fuck is that? I thought <laughs> Nubian just meant black. So, <laughs> you're an you're an um, ebony so, queen, ebony king. I mean, I'm. I'm not. I mean, I, I don't know what area. I'm. What the fuck are from. you then? I don't know. I gotta check it too, nigga. You don't know, um, but you don't know what you are. But you know you're a king, though. I know where I came from. You are a melanin and I know king. I'm a king, nigga. You are you melanin feel it in king. your bones. But anyway, so the crown thing was just something I've always thought about, even as a child, and I always thought it was cool. Uh, so I always thought, like, hold on, hold why on, hold not? On, like hold when on, you, hold on, when hold when on, I get older, hold on. Huh? You as a child were fast, were, were fantasizing. Listen, getting... when I was a kid, I was fascinated by marriage in general. You were fantasizing getting your woman a crown as a child. When I was a child, I fantasized. I thought usually about girls have these kind of thoughts, like when I think woman. about marriage. I don't think I've ever. Not me. I think the only time I've thought of, like, even put a second into a thought about like what my wedding would be like, is it when I was thinking when I was watching Bam's Unholy Union, where it was like Bam Margera getting married. I love that show so much. Oh, so let me let me bring this up, right? So there was a. Something like a viral story was making its rounds on on IG, and it was of a of a woman who told the the uh, the mother in law basically, if you break out into a synchronized dance with your son, I'm kicking you out of my wedding. I'm kicking you out. That was the headline of the story, right? Like if you break out into a into into a, in a planned dance. You're out of here. And people in the comments are like, oh, what a bitch! Like why would she do that? No, That's not she's right. Not a bitch for that. Listen, that is so specific of a request that you know the mother-in-law was 100% cringe. You know that this woman has done things similar to that and even exactly like that. And she's probably she's probably like, we're going to go to Disney and we're going to be in matching outfits, matching goofy ears. And she's like, you know, like doing call to actions and like probably just doing everything embarrassing you can imagine at every family function. Like you don't just come up with all that. It's like, that's like whenever you see a sign, like no shitting on dogs heads in the park. It's like that sign is probably there because somebody shit on their dogs. Like you don't just make sign. Like, you know, Crow and I went to a, a ramen place and the sign said, do not pour your ramen down the sink. Yes. They yeah. did not make that preemptively. Somebody nope. poured their ramen down the sink, like a fucking idiot. And that's why you have signs. So this is that's what must, this must have been like. The wife is probably sitting there like, this bitch is cringe everywhere we go, and I know she got something up her sleeve at my wedding. And that is, after people are like, what a narcissist. This is a big red flag. No, your mother's a red flag. She the <laughs> the wife should be running the other way, and she should not even be dealing with this guy because you know. That this woman is cringe, right? I mean, am I rolling? Facts. You're such a narcissist. You shouldn't. Even, how how dare you? For, okay, first of all, let me say this right now. Happy Pride, whatever, whatever, right? <laughs> you should, as a man, and I'm not male. I'm not that male, okay? Okay. You should not be putting more than like a second thought into your way. That's only, that's like for the woman's day. That's the so woman's I, day. I totally disagree with that. I, I, I was about, I was about to say like, you can't just blame it all on the mom. Cause if it's a synchronized dance, that means that the son's going to pray. Yeah, also too. your husband is, has but I think they said, I think yeah, they said yeah, the like, son you, agreed. You husband too, cause I think they said the son agreed though. Mom. I think they said that the, the husband agreed. Like, yeah, I'm not down with that. Like we're kicking you. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with that. 
Like he yeah. was, he was not down with the. If you want in your wedding, don't have it at your but wedding. But as a guy, you know, and as as a hu- as a very masculine man, I can I can say this. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, like I can't even imagine putting a second of thought into my wedding. That's literally for the woman. That's the woman's day. Whatever you, the only thing I care about is the guest list on my end and the food. I want to make sure the food is good because I'm eating. You know, so mm. I want the food to be good. You don't you don't want to say in in, in what's That's more than a second, bro. I don't care if we're wearing periwinkle, polka dot, orange. I don't give a fuck you, if you, you want don't care dubs. about the tunes. You don't care about the music selection either. Come on I mean now. that's I mean I, I I could put You don't care about where your boy's fun. sitting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well that's like, why I said you know, the guest list. Gotta, that's why I said the guest list. But when we're talking about do you want periwinkle ribbons or do you want flowers at the table? Literally, I do not care what you do. I don't care if you want this to be any theme in you, well, you want it to be an avatar theme, everybody to wear freaking green, everybody to dress everybody up and wear up in, blue. Everybody shows up in blue face. Go, blue if you want to wear blue face, face dude. Green. I'm like, that's strike, bro. <laughs> I have literally zero interest in what the wedding ceremony is going to be like. Like, our our time is when the wedding's over. The honeymoon, that's what I got to say. We're, we're not just going anywhere. But the wedding... <laughs> All you. If you don't, if you come to me with a decision, I'm literally gonna pick randomly. So are you, you saying think, that? Are you saying that Crow is not a real man? Because he's been thinking about this. I'm saying it's not. I'm saying this is not very masculine. He he thinks it's oh. not very masculine. Which I get. That's typically most people's response when I tell them. I'm like, yeah, I've always thought about it since I was a child. Always. You thought which about your- make, but to me, it makes sense why I would think about it. So I'm why? Like, well, I'm. My parents are literally why, why was always fighting and divorced. Like they were uh, divorced. Like they were Well, cheating. that doesn't mean you think so, about the wedding. You can think about what a happy no, relationship it, it, it would it look does, like. But not the I'm ceremony. seeing a bad marriage. I'm seeing a bad marriage, and I'm constantly seeing bad marriage. And I understand and I hear men say, I never give a fuck. I never did this. I don't care. So when you start off in a certain mindset of going, I don't care about this thing. I don't care about when you start off at that place. Things are just naturally not going to progress yeah, well so because untrue. you're already starting on so a negative untrue. mindset. Because you don't care yeah, what flowers you have and what and, and what the colors. No, because is. you're because as a man, like a lot of men tend to step back emotionally, like financially. They oh, I just put all my money into it. I, they do that. They put all their yes. bread into it. Yes. There's nothing, yes. nothing about them inside the wedding. Nothing characterized. There's no passion into it, right? So. And I, I truly believe that it reflects who we are as people. Like, yo, like that's a day for both of you, not just her. And I don't want a woman that just wants me to think about her running everything. Like, I actually do care about where my boys sit, what clothes, uh, what y'all wearing, who's who's coming to the bachelor party, what drinks well, is okay, at the well, bachelor, bachelor party. Well, the bachelor party is your thing, obviously. Of stuff. The bachelor party is, that's your, first of all, that's actually your best man that does that. It's not your wife that does that. It's yes, your yes, your best man. Does. But this is all part of the wedding thing. It's all uh, in no, one no, category, no, so no, I care about every no, detail. No, no, I'm really no. hoping to see you on Brazilla's one day. Oh my god, you know, you know, I would <laughs> love, like he's the controlling one. I would kill <laughs> I told when you, you to guys put get your crown on when you <laughs> when you guys get married. <laughs> we need to document that because there's going to be so many fights about, and, that, and that's exactly like why I'm saying this because the actual ceremony literally does not even matter that much. So like. The argument is not that like, okay, what you want to do with like the house, I could see that might be like a hill to die. Like, okay, we're not going to do this. Like I'm literally living here for the foreseeable future. So what we're going to do with like our backyard, mm-hmm. yep. I'm going to talk about that. What we're doing for this one second, like this for this couple of hours, you know, what we're doing for this couple Bro, of I'm hours. I'm not getting married again. I'm doing once and done. So I need that moment to be phenomenal because no woman is ever getting it again. Mm. Oh, wow. It's not happening again. I, 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 I'm, I'm not a person to remarry. I'm not a person. If it doesn't work, I'm not doing it again. Everybody. I'm else not saying you get involved. another shot at it. I'm just saying that two seconds doesn't matter. Like a, a couple yeah. hours of of the. I care about my colors. I know. I know my colors. I know some of the 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 routing of how where people are sitting and where you are going to be you sitting. Sit who's and think with, about. With, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's, yeah. You've sat and thought about as. <laughs> Where we're going to be sitting at your wedding? Yes. I actually enjoy the aspect of the and style we of weddings. I like it. Are we Obviously, we're all together. And no. probably in the back somewhere. Not in the back. <laughs> yeah, not in the back. Okay, I'm going to regret I'm gonna re- I'm gonna regret this. I'm going to regret, I'm gonna regret this. this. But <laughs> can you please regale us in detail <laughs> your perfect princess wedding? 
You want to know what? How about our next show? I'll bring no, no, you right now. Right my, now. No, no, no. Because I can't tell you. I have notes. I have notes that Just, I wrote down. I, I can oh, get those notes and I'll show. bring them to you. Can you get them right now? Because we don't. The next show, you won't even be on it. So you. Have to. <laughs> no, then when the next show happens, I don't have the notes right now. <laughs> you have written down. Yes. Your wedding plans. Yes. Does your girl not? Yes. Does she, she not knows. find that to be disturbing? No, she loves it. Most women love it. Jay is so for you, bro. Most women love it. Like she doesn't. She likes the fact that I'm like into that stuff. No, I, dude, I, you know what? Dude? I watch. Bro, I don't know. I watch so I I watch. You say yes to the dress multiple times for multiple seasons. I have watched. <laughs> I love that show. So I I love the. I love I love the cake shows. Happy all Pride. the wedding. I love them Happy all. Pride, I love it when the men go in and they get their suits. No bombs and shirts. Love it. Love Happy it. Pride, bro. Happy Pride, bro. <laughs> Mo, you showing out for Pride tonight. My man said I watched Say Yes to Dwess. Yo, that show, that show, that show. Now, this is, I like, I like a couple Whoa. wedding shows. I like, I like the Gypsy <laughs> Wedding Show. I was stroking out for a minute. Ooh. No, my, I disconnected my shit because I was laughing I too didn't hard. Peep that. I like the Gypsy Wedding Show where the Gypsies get married and they're like, you know, like some too. of them get married to like half their like half cousins or like they get married to their cousins. But they, like these, <laughs> they get like these big gaudy dresses. Like those I mm-hmm. like because it's just like, you know, like people live in like Louisiana, like half the places on meth and shit like that. Those are fun to watch. Uh, Bridezilla, you know, shit like, like that. But like you never watch like a Mexican wedding or African wedding, a, 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 a traditional Italian. I love Weddings. I like watching weddings on YouTube and where documentary. Does, I love where that does shit. The crown come into the wedding. Is that? Is uh, that, that was. Uh, it was then? just something that I came up with, and I'm like, I like that. Will, and I think will I we s- be knighted at your wedding? Will we be? Since there's gonna be kings and queens. I've thought about knights? that. I did think about a knight theme. I I turned my head away like from the knight theme. Fucking medieval times in there. Yeah, I, thought, I did show? think That's about sick, that. I did think bro. about it would be so cool, sick. but then it, you and your girl like get on on but, opposing horses to go joust, and then it's just, but, like. Let me ask wait, you this: the, sword, let me ask the this. swords that I wanted costed too much. Can I ask it was you like this? Two thousand five hundred bands to, childhood to get trauma. the swords for all you guys. Let's get back to childhood trauma. Oh God! Is this because I, I don't think you've ever had one? This is why I'm, you might have had one. Is this because you never had like one of those birthdays where it was like a big character theme? Like, bro, I never had birthdays. I never had Christmas. Right. So I think this is. I think. I think. I think we're finding where this is stemming from because you never got the party where it was like, okay, Mo, this is your Barney party. This is all about like we're gonna do a Barney theme. Here's Elmo and we're, Cookie yeah, like, Okay, here's your Toy Story party. So like, I think you you're like chasing that feeling of getting like your own party as a child he and just now, wants to feel like a princess for a day, I, <laughs> I want to feel like a prince i want to feel like a nice for you you know what i'm a i'm a, I'm a princess on my wedding day i guess oh my god dude you and listen, jay are, yo dude you and jay are really for each other because if i ask my mom like i've literally asked my mom because stephanie have gotten into stephanie and i have gotten into fights about this because like when you get a house with dre right let's say you got like a nice budget for furniture how would you feel if Dre was basically one of those guys, I was like, listen, I don't care what you get for the crib. I'll pay for it by any trick. No, I would not like that because I like my mom to have a fucking say in what's going on. And I was like, so if he just hands you the card and says, buy it, like, <laughs> no, I would not like that because I want him to have an opinion on everything. I'm like, you can't even win with these people. You can't even win with some of these women. Like I'm literally giving you the keys to the bank. You can get anything. And now you, and I'm like, so what if he's just like, if you ask him A or B and he just like, and you know, and you notice he's just saying whatever. I would not like him to pick randomly because I'd be disrespectful. I'd be fucked up. I would not like that. And like, I call my mom and I'm like, do you agree? She's like, no, absolutely not. Like your dad gives me the car. Like, I'm like, fuck that. I'm buying whatever I want. Like, I don't want him to have any say in literally anything. And like, my mom will show me like the house. She's like, I just put this up. I put that up. Like, I got this. Game. My dad, know, my dad's why, back why there just like, yep, together? swipe, 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 swipe. Listen, that's how things should fucking be. I don't know where this whole thing is, where the guy has a say and all this shit that literally no, doesn't, even it never, matter. It doesn't exist. That's why I'm doing it because it's for me. It's not for everybody. I know it's not for everybody. I don't expect nobody else to be feel or do these things. I know my reason. And you are actually correct about the trauma. You were like, oh, the whole birthday. Yeah, I didn't have birthdays. <laughs> Mo never I had a pinata. Have, so. I didn't get Christmas parties. I didn't do any of that. So to me, when I do an event and I invite people, I do stuff. It's very important to me that I go all out because it's my moment. What'd you say, EJ? I say, can we set up a pinata? Do you want us? Listen, 
your next birthday. We can throw you. We can, can throw, we you, throw you, a, you. You want me? You want to uh, throw me a kick ass party? We want to throw you up like a childhood party, one that will like you know. Oh, that's sweet. I would let. I would let that out. I would let that. that your inner. We have to. You know, today's all about soothing your inner child and connecting with your inner child these days. Yep. You know, Till yeah, Swan is. taught me that. You know, all the online gurus taught me that. So yeah, connect. If you can, heal, that, so, heal those wounds. What let, let's let's. What would little Mo, little Princess Mo, what would you? What kind of party? What little you, Princess Mo would want. <laughs> Um, what what little character? Princess Mo would love a Spider Man party. Oh, Miles or, Morales, right? I'm assuming, right? Shout, you know. Well, now it could be Miles Morales because right. he's awesome. Peter Parker is still the dope. He's still right. Peter Parker. Is fucking cl- Peter Parker. Come on, who right. could hate Peter? So Parker? you want a Spider Man anyway, party? Let's get a Spider Man. I love Spider Man. You got to be both Spider Mans involved. I want a Spider Man in costume at my birthday party. Oh yeah, of, um, course. of course, right? I would like Eddie to be like Peter Parker, and I want Dre to be Miles Morales. You know I was Spider Man at a kid's birthday party one time. You was? Look at that. Yeah, yeah no, no, yeah. You're gonna hire Clay for me. We're gonna hire Clay. Just, gonna hire Clay. So like and just get Clay. Your birthday is January. Is February what? Eleventh. All right, that show, whatever <laughs> closest show that is, we are throwing you. Everybody, get ready. Because on February 11, 2025, we are throwing Moe's Spider-Man birthday. It's going to be fucking epic. It's going to be sick. They got the new gay Spider-Man. He's going to be there. We're going to get... It's going to go down. We're going to have Miles. We're going to have Peter. We're going to have... have Gwen. Who's, we're going to have Gwen. Gonna be Gwen. I'll be Gwen. I'll cross You want to be Gwen? I'll be you Gwen. Wanna, she, you, Vanessa's perfect because she's blonde. She's white. I want to be Gwen. I want to be Gwen. <laughs> Vanessa could be Miles. We need to race swap. <laughs> no, you're gonna be Miles. She you want to be, be who any other wanna? white Spider Man? No, you're girl. the birthday boy. You can't be. Everybody else has to be Spider. You, you're the birthday boy. You have to wear like the Spider Man hat, the Spider Man okay. shirt. You know, because you have Got to. You. you have to have the experience of meeting Spider Man. So you can't be. You're not. You're not Spider Man at your own party. You know, you have. I to, can't be Spider Man at my own no, party. You have That's to true. Meet Spider. So I'll be Gwen. Vanessa will be Miles. <laughs> I don't like chocolate cake though. Yeah, it's, it's, listen, it's your birthday. You get I'm, what I'm just letting you know. I don't like chocolate cake. And maybe once we, you know, once we soothe your inner child and play kids, maybe then you will release the need for control over your wedding, and then Jay could finally have the exact wedding she wants. I don't, but she doesn't want me not to be involved. Oh God, what but is? But she's gonna want what she wants. But she does. It doesn't work. Like even okay, our couch downstairs. Which we is a went sick through couch. That's a sick couch. multiple couches before we chose that couch. Right. Who chose? And I turned chose down. The couch or she chose the couch. We both chose the um, couch. Well, the couch I is a little no bit. Like, I mean, because the couch is comfortable. It's kind of like a bed. You know, you kind of want to. Yeah. Yes, right. But we 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 had we had options that I shot that shit down because I didn't like the way they look. Well, like in terms of decorating and stuff, do you Wait, care? So she chose other couches. And you there were some couches she chose this, and I look? said, hell no. Wait, did you shoot it down for the look or for, for fe- the feel? Both. Some was look, some was feel. That is incredibly gay. Did and she shoot gay. down any of the ones that you suggested? Yes. And did you throw okay, a tantrum? Okay, I'm sure it's fair. Yes, no, she did. This, nah, is, this, sounds, like this sounds like an equal lesbian relationship right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lesbian with a dick. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. So let's say, right, Jay wants to start decorating shoot, shoot. the house. Do you have any... Does she need to run, you know, aesthetic changes by you? Depends on the room. Yeah, well, obviously. Depends on the room. The kitchen. You're not allowed to touch my office. She's not allowed in that my office. Sense. She's not allowed that in the makes closet. Sense. Yeah, that makes sense. At all. You don't, she doesn't even, she's not even allowed... To touch my whoa, clothes whoa, in the whoa. closet. She's not allowed to go in the closet. Women, that, she, that's well, that makes sense because that's all his stuff. The women love the closet. That's just my closet. That's this is, is my that, closet. That makes space. sense. You can't, you can't, you can't touch the man cave. You can't touch that room. Uh, so bedroom because the bed I chose, I chose that bed. Um, Why, so she can do whatever she want with the huh? Why? Because you have hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. What the fuck? What about you? you need like a specific? <laughs> no, bed? I just like the bed. The bed or the mattress. The bed, the okay. mattress we already had. Okay, okay. You chose like the aesthetic. Yes, so I chose the frame. aesthetic. The bed yes, frame. The frame. So does yes. Jay? So d- besides your room, does Jay have free reign over aesthetic changes of the house? Can she make a she decision? Has, she has free range over the kitchen, the kitchen, and the dining room. Not the living room. You put your foot down there. I put my foot down in the living room. Wow. It can it, it can be just enough, but you know. Why you have? But I like any, my living room to look. Why you have any lit. desire to have any control over? Aesthetic change the house is beyond me. That is insane. Would you would you like Jay to get you a crown as well? 
Yeah, oh, was, she, is, is it worth she, she, Listen, I've told her as a man, I don't want an engagement band. I think they're boring when men receive those boring looking things. Give me a watch. You want an engagement watch? Give me an engagement watch. <laughs> I don't want no, like, and you have to, and like, nah, if I'm putting bread down, you have to put bread down too. Like, I want a gift too. Fuck out of here. What? <laughs> what do you mean you have to get a gift? You don't want, you I want, want a gift. It, if I got to fuck it, I got to get you rings and everything. I want a gift too. I want a watch. You don't, you don't want the plastic watch out of the cereal box? Nope. I want the fucking watch for my, my, with her, uh, with both our You got to get the watch, the watches Clay gets on like Alibaba, AliExpress. You get them right from You China. know what? If she can find one, a a good one. It got to be nice, a nice, good watch. Like ten My man bucks. Said he wants the engraving, the initials engraved yep. on it too. Yep. Wow, absolutely insane. Clay just uh, fell asleep on the ground. He just woke up. Welcome <laughs> back, Clay. <laughs> Clay's back. He's uh, he's tired of hearing about engagement crowns right now. I don't know why I smell like gasoline going on in my house. I don't know what's going on. Something might explode any second now. I have to go check that out. Listen, we love you. Peace and love. <laughs> See you next time. Look at look at EJ like clapping. Subscribe. That means the show went well. He's clapping. Like, that means he loves the show. Subscribe.